more <laughs> I feel, yeah. The Criminal Youth Justice Act is, it, it, there are parts of it, and I'm obviously going to say how it is, it needs to be reformed. Because I feel like if you're 16, you have enough cognitive function here to understand killing someone is not okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I understand maybe shoplifting, you get a little slap on the wrist, whatever, right? Like, yeah. do if you're doing something that's not harming someone, like they're in the terms of like physically taking their lives, like taking their lives and stuff. I think there's ways around it. Even, but there are certain things. Like for example, like when you're 16, you know better. You don't like when I was 12, bro. I knew not you to know. like kill someone. At a young right? age, you know what's like, right from wrong. Like you know not to kill someone. You know not to like obviously take take advantage of someone sexually. Like there's like yeah. certain principles and morals that you should have, right? And it's just it baffles me that the the charges sometimes for some even for other cases for kids uh, that are you know under the age of 18 mm. they get off with a year of juvie maybe two yeah. years of like prison like yeah. and this is completely unrelated to the case we were just talking about we're just talking about in general, general right yeah. in, in cases I've looked at right yeah. and because I've done the studies for other cases for classes I've taken in the uni because I did crim but it's it's crazy man because it's like how much because le- yeah. you this kid will take a year in juvie right yeah. or whatever jail mm-hmm. he'll get out. It won't be on his record. Mm-hmm. Mm. So his entire life, he can go out. He can go on, get yeah. a job, be forget about it. Yeah, that family yeah. doesn't get to forget. Yeah. That family still has to deal with it. Yeah, and on top of that, a year of your life, two years of your life, even if some people get community service, bro. It right, is, yeah. and it's like, okay, you're getting a punishment, mm. but are we really gonna value someone's life at a year's worth of uh, community service or a year in prison? Yeah. Is that really what we're doing here? Back to modern brown men. <laughs> episode, I'm not even gonna talk about episodes. We, we don't know. We don't know the episodes. <laughs> we just lost track episode. at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our first collab, two two podcasts, and uh, a new record for I guess a guest as well. <laughs> but, yeah, man. What's up? Four sings on a pod. Yeah, yeah, sings. Four, four. Bro. Actually, I shouldn't say sings. I shouldn't say sings. Sings doing things. Yeah. There's people. That, that, I mean, that we should say four people that wear pugs because people. <laughs> some nah, people man. do. Some people do get offended yeah. when you really? say sings. Though I don't think really? so. Because you know what the thing is like. Diff- people have different different uh, definition of what sings are. What sings are? Yeah, yeah. I feel, you get what I'm saying. I get what you're saying, but at the same time, like. There's like sensitivity issues in the community at that point, bro. Come on, man. That's yeah, bigger issues. Yeah. Let us about. live, man. Let us live. Yeah, Kosho. Trying to represent, man. Trying to escape backlash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, no, man. no, no, no. no but I, yeah. but I mean, not like Dave. Sorry to cut you out, brother. But give people like, a quick intro, man. Like who you guys are. Yeah. Um, where you guys podcast from? When you guys started and everything? It's a quick little intro, man. For yeah, the yeah. Audience uh, out there. Well, my name is Ikdeep. I'm from the Hours Before Midnight podcast. I run it with my <laughs> business partner slash best friend uh, Manrov and my manager Jasmine. We're based out of Vancouver, so go Canucks, go. Uh, <laughs> Fuck <them. laughs> um, Other than that, yeah, I know we've started the podcast in October of 2021. We've been oh. going at it for almost a, almost two years. It's we're gonna be coming yeah. up two years in October here, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah, it's it's been good, man. We've been uh, connecting with people, doing it it's up, been grinding, man. Yeah, it's been grinding. We've been grinding, man, bro. I was do- I looked up the analytics the other day. We haven't missed a. Uh, a single upload on Instagram or TikTok since we started the podcast. Every oh, day, shit. every day, there's a real or TikTok going up, and I'm like, I'm yeah, like, man. at one yeah, point, I was like thinking about it. I'm like, dude, what am I doing? I have yeah. no life. Yeah. But you, know what the, you know what the thing is, but you guys is that yeah. because you guys push so much content every day, mm-hmm. Instagram and all these tick, they actually promote you for it. They do, mm-hmm. yeah. It's just like a snowball effect. Yeah, like yeah. We, we had um, another content crea- uh, creator here. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. like, she had to change up what she was doing. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna start constantly upload every single day yeah because mm. right now i think instagram is promoting more reels right now like pushing yeah. long, long yeah. form content right now yeah. they are yeah because i uh, yeah it was whatever that you know the reasoning might be who cares we, <laughs> we care for the analytics yeah. but yeah. she was saying man like she went from like having a following of roughly like 10k to yeah. 60k like mm. matter of like what three four months, three, four months. and her yeah. engagement Crazy, everything right? is crazy, crazy yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. and it just and, and it goes to show with you guys you know uh, give your flowers to you guys especially with uh, both of you guys where you guys are saying so right mm-hmm. the fact that you guys stay so consistent and you guys are getting the recognition now and getting support slowly and slowly because you guys are getting up there in a community where people do recognize you 
Yeah, mm. to an extent, yeah, for sure. I would say we're still like uh, we're still all normal people. Is that as he normal humble people? Yeah, like, come on, man. Be like Kendrick, stay humble, dog. Stay humble, <laughs> stay humble dog. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. diss tracks are coming. Diss tracks are coming. <laughs> MBM diss track on Hours for Midnight coming soon, yo. Yeah, you know, I like that. <laughs> no, but no, I, I I hear what you're saying when it comes to you know obviously the podcast and like how and I appreciate you. Like, you know, it uh, means a lot, guys. Thank you for inviting me out here. Right? Yeah. I've no, been uh, no, I've been peeping your guys' stuff for a minute. I've been uh, connected with Amrit. Like, randomly met this guy at the Godwara. Godwara. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I was with yeah. Tanroop. I was with Tanroop, and I uh, team with the Godwara. Me and Tanroop been uh, buddies for a minute now. Yeah. And then I just like was at the Godwara. I just Amrit pulls up, like, who's this tall ass <laughs> thing, bro? Yeah, this, guy, this guy just comes up, like, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. And then legit, like, I think a, a month later, not even, you started the podcast. Cock podcast. And yeah, then I saw yeah, on your story, I was like, yo, this is oh, dope. Yeah, because yeah. it was so funny. It, it's yeah. at the Chungi Godwara, the one on 66, man. Yeah, the, the one, one that's like not fully built. <laughs> at the time where the Godwara was even built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on Ozzy Road. So it was so funny because he came to that, right? Because I always say, like, <laughs> like they have the Gurdwara and like the Kunji Jaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like hidden away. Yeah, yeah, man, it's yeah, like yeah. A, but now obviously they're building it, but they didn't build it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Gurdwara is a scam too, man. You know what it is? Yeah. A scam. We're going into Gurdwara politics right <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, I know what I'm going to get into Gurdwara politics. Hold, Yo, hold tight, hold tight. <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny? Let's just get into it. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Um, so there's actually, if you actually go there, uh, there's a masjid and a Gurdwara building right across each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the masjid people, like they actually didn't rush into getting a, uh, their masjid built up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, you know, let's take our time, build it from ground up. Ours, if you actually look at it, it's built on a slope. It's low. So, mm-hmm. um, it wasn't built on a foundation. If like floods don't happen here rarely, mm-hmm. but even if there's do come like a really bad snowstorm or whatever, we're done. <laughs> yeah. That Godwara, <laughs> yeah, good luck cleaning yeah. it out. Oh man, good luck, man. <laughs> and that's the thing, though. And that's when it kind of comes down to committees getting money hungry. This that grant mm-hmm. exanu passage idea. Yeah. They like get people from India, get money from them. Bro, it was yeah. crazy how deep it gets. It it's it's <laughs> deep, bro. I can't I can't even tell you like where I'm from, right? Because there's a uh, there's a lot of Godwara beef, right? Like yeah. in terms of around from. <laughs> so I'll tell you what happened. Like in my city, right, there's like Gordara open. The committee got in a fight. So the committee members split. The guy opened another Gordara. Same thing happened. Open another Gordara. And it's like a chain effect, right? Oh, and I'm no, like, no, dude. No. And then like, there's like a city beside us, like Chilliwack. There's no Gordara in Chilliwack from my knowledge. So I literally there just like, yeah, I was just yeah. talking about it. I'm like, like, oh, take Gordara banana chai. The buddy, I'm And I'm like, I'm like, y'all monopolizing God, bro. What's going on here, man? Come on, man. Bro, for real, though, they be really monopolizing God. <laughs> Come on, bro. Profit off of this shit, boy. Dude, crazy. and it's crazy. You be, I be seeing, a, I, oh, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this on the pod, right? I was, okay, I, my cousin's from Toronto, right? Shout out my cousins, right? And uh, and it was my cousin, my friend, they were out at the Gordora. Bro, Granti pulls up in a Rolls Royce. I'm like, yo, <laughs> bro. And I'm like, I'm like bro. yo, if y'all know who I'm talking about, I don't know, it could have been a rental, right? So it could be a reach. Who knows, <laughs> right? Yeah. It could have been like, yo, nice flex, subtle flex, right? But come on, man. Yo, they're, make, they're making money to the point where they can write off just tax. Yeah, uh, bro, but the thing is, because it's a, since it's a religious, like, obviously establishment, yeah, right? You can write legit. Like, so no, it's not for profit. Yeah, it's not for profit. Not for profit. Right, but profit the Melda. So it's like, Melda, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like they don't, they don't, they don't have to pay for any like lease or anything like that. No, nope. no, but this shit's corrupt beyond. Even f- screw the. Co- How many gurdwaras you know by heart that you think they're in Edmonton? Off top of your head, uh, I think there's like four, four or five, five, right? Four or five, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's 300 listed gurdwaras in Edmonton. Listed. What? Search it up on the government website. There's 300 listed. You know why that is? Huh. People say we are an offer. Uh, so as long as you have a grunt side or a place yeah. dedicated yeah, in your house, like a sroop, yeah. 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 Is considered <laughs> as a gurdwara. That's so they're crazy. opening gurdwaras in their own So houses. people are doing this <laughs> oh, as bro. a not for pro- a profit <laughs> to avoid taxes. What am I hearing? Yo? This is the news, yeah. key. bro. This is the real shit. That's My cousin cr- told me this the other week. Cr- He's like, bro, there's 300 gurdwara. I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's the people that are doing this for not for profit to set it up as that so they can avoid taxes. Taxes, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's fucked. Isn't that crazy? Must I'm like, so bro, bad. on top of my head, we know like four or five. Yeah. No, man, there's 300 listed Gurdwaras in Edmonton. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's, I'll be that's... 600 after this podcast. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. They're all about to get exposed. Yeah, we're just going to have Bobby coming after us. At yo, this point. it's <laughs> crazy. Yo, they're going to lock y'all in the Gurdwara basement. Bro, for real, <laughs> man. Yo, like, yo, see us on the streets like, in a kalani ne the Gurdwara band It is on the side, give us some lecture. Or some shit. <laughs> bro, <laughs> honestly, yeah, no, because even the Gordara communities in our, in Surrey, y'all y'all know in Surrey, the Chal Dai Randa, Kushna Kushna. Surrey's like, yeah. Surrey's like, like I say, it's an interesting place. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. But there's always some drama going on around, right? Mm. And I'll, I'm not gonna mention who, but there's a, someone that made a piece of content, like yeah. in terms of content creation, up in our community, right? <laughs> the Gordara community was like, it's Aldani, right? So they like 
like we're like gordara in galgar na tere naal they're like they're trying to hold like a like a intervention at the gordara wait for, for because there's really? so my one of my boys i <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna say one of my boys he, he did this like tiktok here and there there's a clip that went really viral i I'll, i don't want to out him hmm. right? just for the sake of yeah, like yeah, obviously yeah. whatever <laughs> no, no, but right. it went kind of viral this is a little well, a little while ago right <laughs> bro Sings are like saw this and like at the start of the podcast. It's funny you brought this up because you're like we shouldn't refer to ourselves as sings or something because you know some people might get yeah like, yeah. like you know take offense like, to it take offense yeah. to it right yeah and uh, so these things took offense to this guy's content. Mind you, it's pretty harmless. There's no explicitity like explicit stuff going on in this like nothing crazy. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And uh, they're like kordareya. That's on a gala car. So you know, like in the movie, the chunky, like we've seen chunky. Yeah, it's like a modern, they, they like, modern version of chunky. Yeah, like, yeah. Holy, I was just like, God <laughs> damn, like bro, it's not that serious. Yeah. It really is not. Like, and it's like, because if there's something like beyond be right, happening, like oh, you're making a mockery of a like of the gurus or something, yeah, or like yeah. the punch bed, or like anything, like anything like that. And at that point, I get it, right? Uh. But if you're like just doing your own thing, in grade you bored there, yeah, you're not hurting anybody, right? And it's like, come on, man. <laughs> like, and the what thing the is, hell? It's just cause, and it's just because he tied a pug. The other people in that video that didn't have pugs didn't get any flack. What the hell? That's fucked up, man. See, that's what I mean. It's like gatekeeping, bro. It is. It's straight yeah, gatekeeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like it's like they pick and choose. You just put yeah. it in a box and then whatever. Like, <clears throat> if yeah. you do anything outside anything of that, then you mm. get criticized for it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so it's, yeah. Fun. yeah. it's crazy. Even when we started the pod, like everyone just was like, they would really try to put us in a box. Like, yo, you can't say this. You can't say. This. I was like, yeah. why can't I? Yeah. Like I, I'm still a human being, bro. Like I'm, yeah, I'm a sing, like 100%. See, that's yeah. that's the thing, though. It's like you know, the inv- it's like you envision someone who has a bug. It's like someone that can't say certain thing. Oh, yeah. you guys are yeah. just making a mockery of Punjabis. Yeah. How? Explain yeah. how. But they won't be able to. They won't. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the yeah. only thing, the, okay, if you and out and about in the public view, I you're acting like you know, you know, outlandish way, or yeah, you're yeah. Pro- or you're promoting bad habits. Okay, then you can say be like, okay, yo, you gotta you gotta watch yourself. How you promote man. yourself? Because mm-hmm. yeah. you do represent something, right? Yeah. 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 But if, if we're just having talks on the podcast, you're talking about a culture in a manner where we, f- we the audience, finds it appeasing to watch, mm. what's wrong with that? Mm. We're not putting down anybody. We're just bringing conversation forward. And we're just having a, you know, it's like a good, it's like conversation that you have in a house, but not in a public view. Yeah. 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 Amongst your friends. Yeah. There's no difference. <laughs> it, I think it's when um, you put out an opinion. Like, there's one thing where you put out, where like, okay, if Jethako Dariya stopped tying Parke, it went viral, right? <laughs> Everyone had an opinion on this. But yeah. the thing is, object- oh, you guys said yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, you guys said there's a hierarchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're over yeah. 20, yeah. I, was like, I was like, if you're over 20, <laughs> you have a Dari, stop tying Parke, bro. Yeah. Unless you're like playing like contact sports or something, like I did, like I did. Like, you're working like, out or whatever, shit, yeah. right? It runs. Yeah. But if, you're, if I see you out and about a Gorda and a Parka, and you have a full, like, oh, yeah, no. your Dari, my Dari, your Dari, your Dari, even your Dari, bro, it's done. Right. It's a wrap. We like have a wrap, bro. At that point, uh, like, because I'm just like, come on, man. Like, there's that point that it's like, why aren't you, right? Mm, yeah. But again, I'm not gonna force someone to tie a bug. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. an opinion, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The same way I got shit on by Parm. <laughs> Shout out Parm. He called me. He called me Parka Singh like for like the longest, longest time. time. <laughs> longest time until like uh, or Parka boy for the longest yeah. time until I started tying it, right? And that's so why I understand like. But now I've tied and it's like I have a sense of pride. Yeah. Right? Like the reason why I tie like, gives me a lot of like you know I'm I'm standing for something. something right? So I'm exactly. kind of like trying to be like to the things like especially the younger ones. Like, Yo, just tie a bug. Like, it's like you turn try that quick tutorial page. Then you yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm not doing a tutorial. Yeah. Well, send you the one I use. <laughs> I I for sure can't do. My hands gonna get exposed. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. This this right here stayed hidden for a reason, bro. My hairline here. Yeah. For all y'all wondering, it's not here. Yeah. It's here. It's here. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, no. So <laughs> that's so funny. Now nah, we're gonna leave that, bro. You haven't said anything. What's your name? Bro? Bro? This is our. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This is our NBA <laughs> prospect in the cup and coming. No, 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 no. Oh, really? Nice. He's our youngin, man. He's um, I have known him for a while. I, th- I, I met him through Muk. Okay. Yeah. It's a random. It's a random story about this guy. One day yeah. he's like random. He's challenged me. He's like he's a cocky motherfucker. He doesn't look like, but he is. Okay. He, but he's gonna be cocky. Cocky. He's actually. I would say he's he's confident in his ability. Okay. Which is cool, good. cool. Cool. That's good. He has a mentality which I actually admire about him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he's like, bro. He's like, let me play you one on one. He's like, oh, he, in his head, I know for a fact he's like, I'm gonna beat you, which is mentality you should have. Yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, that's why I like him so much yeah. is the fact that he had the mentality that he's like yo yeah. i don't care who you are uh-huh. i don't even know who you are but i can beat you yeah because i have the same mentality yeah, yeah, yeah like a college player could pull up on me i don't give a shit yeah, i'll yeah, be yeah. like yo, i'm beating you did you cook him though yeah, of course bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what's yeah, one you know, thing stop game. Stop game. you know <laughs> you know one thing we are gonna do is um, um i haven't brought it up to anybody I actually want you know how there's media content creation when it comes to basketball mm. yeah. and like a lot of people do one-on-ones yeah, around yeah. the community they do runs yeah. in that community they 
only time we do runs if it's a tournament. Yeah, or it's like a, some charity event. Or something. Yeah, 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 if yeah, it's yeah. actually organized event. There's mm. no such thing as like, yo, let's let's pull up on here. Like anybody wants to come out, play, yeah, whatever. Yeah. If you don't have that in a community, if you don't yeah. enforce it enough, yo, you're just gonna start beating. Bro, he, nah, but he, we don't. <laughs> basketball, basketball, we don't. <laughs> basketball people are go crazy. Yeah, I have a great idea. Why don't like I was talking to Amr on the way here. I was like, y'all don't really have content creator besides yourself, maybe Josh, <laughs> and uh, I, I know I'm missing Pete. someone. Respect to y'all, yeah, yeah, content. I just you know I just don't know. Like, know. What I'm seeing, there's not a lot, right? Here's the content idea for some of the youngins, right? <laughs> Take your camera, have a mic, right? And go to a random court rec center do you here, and be like, yo, <laughs> no, 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 don't do what he says. Just be like, yo, let's play 1v1, right? And then that's already something someone would watch. I'd watch that, yeah. right? Yeah. If I see a random sing 1v1ing anyone, or even it doesn't have to be a sing, just someone in our community, just 1v1ing anyone for basketball. And, and you know, know, that's one of the ideas Crazy. I had of, you know, I'm like, you know what, what I'm gonna start doing is, I might just start telling people posting on my ID, uh, on my uh, my pull IG. <laughs> yeah. Literally during summertime, yeah. pull up anybody that beats me is I guess ten bucks, twenty bucks, whatever it is. Yeah. Start off small, yeah. Yeah, see yeah, what yeah. you get. You never know, bro. You get so much good content, yeah. be mic'd yeah. up, yeah. talk your shit, bro. Yeah. I'm, I, I've been thinking about this shit. I just haven't incorporated because it it's just life just been so busy, bro. I can, yeah. I can just sense this going so sideways, bro. man. Yeah, For me, right? I would talk like the craziest stuff. Cause like it, even when like I'm quiet, if I know the person, yeah. yeah. But if yeah. some like person that I don't know. Bro, bro, and he says one word is I'm not shutting up the whole game. <laughs> yeah. People know me on my bro, team. Sure, yeah, yeah <laughs> bro. People know me on my team. I'm a like, I'm not a hothead, but I'm like once I get going, I get going. But that's why. Yeah, week. Yeah, but that's how I Loco. met him though. Tell him, yeah, yeah. Herbie, what you up? Tell to, me man. yourself, man. Yeah, you. Yeah, man. So like, yeah, basically, I met, like, met him Mook, through a uh, training race. So I was like in grade ten, and yeah. um, basically, like, I went to this kind of ID camp. I wasn't supposed to be there. It was a like, college ID camp, right? I was like, great time. Like, you know what? Might as well. Yeah, go come there. closer. No, yeah. Yeah, my fault. My fault. No, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I said, might as well go there to the ID camp. And I saw this guy, and yeah. he hit me up after a week. He's like, yo, I started training for a bit. Started getting to the gym with him, hmm. and after that, I saw his guy on Instagram. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let, let, let's hit him up. Let's text him, right? <laughs> yeah. See what's up. I saw like him shooting and stuff. I'm like, you know, he's he's a good player, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we had the match. <laughs> it went. You know, he, he gets me here and there. He he gets me here and there. When he's fresh, yeah, he'll yeah. be up there. Yeah. Once it's, it's like once the quotas are winding down, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he just gives up slowly <laughs> and slowly yeah. and slowly. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're called, man. That's what Yo, speaking of basketball, we gotta run something. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. We're, we're gonna come down. I'm down. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Abbotsford hoop. Oh, yeah, that, you are. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're making a team. We're coming down. Don't, don't Edmonton team. Don't, don't, I'm telling you, mark this word, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope the the guys watching. Uh, yeah. What's the page called? Abbey Hoops, I think. I think no, no. Uh, it's called uh, Abbey Hoops, but also I think it is right. Indo, Indo Hoops, Indo Hoops. Indo Hoops. So they do like yeah, overall yeah, all over yeah, Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Abbey Hoops, we're coming down this year. I'm telling you, Edmonton boys, we're beating. I don't care who's there. Yeah. We don't care. We're beating. Yeah, we're taking that this year. Last year we couldn't make it out there. Yeah. We're making a team. We're coming down. We're taking that. Bro, I'm like the most stereotypical like three and D player. I literally just shoot threes and play hard nose defense. I'm like Patrick no, Beverly on the defense end. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like. I'm like Shaq on the three point line. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it sometimes it's maybe, on and off. But, you know, when I, if I hit the jump seven in the morning, right? It'll yeah. go in. Yeah. If I don't, it's kind of it's kind of missing, bro. I'm shooting that shit to like which which oh, I can't even say the word. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. I'm saying it all the way somewhere else. <laughs> the yeah, Wichita State. Yeah, there you go. I couldn't say it. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you know, one thing kind of about um, you know, get away from like not get away, kind of incorporated in uh, yeah. including basketball. I think um, I hope you can attest to this. Mm -hmm tie it back to a community, get a more serious note is um, mm -hmm. what's becoming more and more prevalent mm -hmm. when it comes to our high schoolers, even youth in general. Yeah. Um, Cause coming to elementary, junior highs, like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. The thing is like basketball and all these sports isn't like an outlet for kids to yeah. kind of get out and um, not be involved in certain things that could lead to uh, severe repercussions. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you know, Habir, you can speak to this in a sense where like you're in high schools, mm. you see how many kids are getting more and more involved in our community. Because yeah. we're, since we're saying, let's just talk about our community. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying it just doesn't happen in our community, it happens all over. Yeah. But when it just yeah. comes to ours, uh, you know, we have a different uh, viewpoint because, you know, we cherish our community. We want mm. our youth to do good. Yeah. Right. Mm. And like, like on average, how many times do you see kids out there like that fall a victim to that lifestyle of getting easy money or like, you know, thinking this is something cool, like all oh, the girls dig this stuff. Yeah, yeah like bro, 
the school where I'm not, I'm not saying names. Or, or <laughs> to, but like, You're in high school? Yeah, I'm in grade 12. Bro, he's only 18. <laughs> what the hell? They built Seven, different. Yeah, they yeah, built yeah. different now, bro. <laughs> bro <laughs> they built different. Yeah, built different. Bro, his daddy, bro, I couldn't grow nothing until I was 20, bro. Bro, I don't, I'm not going to lie. I just started looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> I did not look like that in grade 12, bro. Uh, but bro, no, it's grown. Bro, it's yeah. 23, but looking deep at ass voice, too. Deep ass voice, I come using. Like, you guys. know, what, man, I like Yo, <laughs> man, it's basketball tournament, bro. <laughs> but, uh, to answer your question, like, obviously, I've seen, like, a lot. When I say a lot, like, majority of the school, you see the kids, like, all these boys, you know, pulling up, mm-hmm. whatever it is, man, Black Air Forces, all that kind of stuff. But, like, oh, shit. Like, Black that, Force that, Energy. That, 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 that's, that's, that's school, right? You know, you see, you see them at school, you see the way they act, right? You see them at lunchtime, they be doing some kind of, like, weird stuff, right? Yeah. But then, like, you know, all of a sudden, like, you're working out one day, you open your phone, you wave, whatever you're saying, like, oh, I know this guy, like, he got caught, right? So, yeah. it's, like, almost every other week you'd be saying that, right? So, uh, mm-hmm. if, if, to answer your question, like, yeah, like, it's increasing every year. That's yeah. what I'd be saying. Like, I don't get it, though. Yeah. I, I don't get it either, man. And I think the thing is, it's a different generation, maybe. I'm not yeah. going to speak like I'm freaking 40. Yeah, but yeah. Because like, yeah. like, I'm not that much older than you, right? Like, know, yeah, right? Like, I graduated 2019, so, mm-hmm. like, I'm not that far removed from you, yeah. right? So... It's like it's kind of crazy though, because when I was graduating, like I'm I'm from different city, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so speak yeah, yeah. to my my point. Mm-hmm. It's uh Surrey has always been known as that place of like you know there's shit yeah. always gonna pop off everything right whatever. Yeah. Close to the border too. Right? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. But then I feel like it's kind of shifted because w- at one point Abbotsford, where I'm from, was like the crime capital in 2017. It was it was really right? bad. It was, bad. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible right. And mm-hmm. I'm I'm from I'm from this so I I knew it was like just the shit was always just fucking bad. Like <laughs> someone yeah. just get like question numbers. Question numbers yeah. Something there's always something news up there. Yeah yeah. It's unfortunate right because you're like dude and the 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 shittiest thing was when it's like you see the repercussion of it when you see like a parent that's lost like their child exactly. or yeah. something like that and it's like dude it's horrible right like just seeing that in itself is so much so much pain right mm. and like i was like looking into it i'm like yo edmonton has always been like my second because all my non live here right yeah and I'd, i come here quite often and now to mm. see how like how edmonton's going yeah. and it's like it's almost reminding me of that like that prime time surrey how it was back in t- 16 Getting 17 like point, 20 right? like 2010s era of like uh how surrey was right yeah. Yeah. and it's and it's shitty man because it's it like is, man. it's like it's especially the kids man the kids are are I, like, I feel future man yeah, they're future yeah. right so. yeah like me and Mok, like we're older than you guys i think we can attest to the fact that even when we were coming up man like Mok, how often did you see this stuff not often though not often and it was right? there it was there it was bro. there but not that as prevailing though but not as much like what happened what has happened for the last like two months in edmonton yeah it's like the most you've ever seen like yeah. ha- like it's occurring. crazy it's, it's it's crazy yeah i don't know if it's just because like a lot of people are like moving out of a different city and then coming into Edmonton because it's cheaper. I think that's what it is. Right? <clears throat> yeah. And it's just like, yeah. it's, it's also the immigrants that are coming in too. They're just getting into this stuff because they're trying to run away from life, right? Mm. <clears throat> so, but yeah, it's it's crazy how much how much bad it's gotten though. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and you know, the thing is like, you know, like there's so many cases now too, uh, when it comes to like impacting the community as a whole. Yeah. Mm. Now what I mean by that is, <clears throat> let's say you did a bunch, there was a case that went out, like we don't want to go like too much detail yeah, just yeah, due to yeah. the severity of it, right? Yeah. yeah. We don't know the ins and out of it, but you know, mm-hmm. there, you know, when you do have a certain individual, right? Mm-hmm. Whether he's, he's good, he's evil mm-hmm. or whatever it is, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a line that you do not cross as individual, as kids. Yeah. This is not adults. No. These are kids. They're kids in high school. In man. high school. Yeah. And yeah. they're doing this. Mm-hmm. In, like, at a high school, we know what's right from wrong. Yeah. From yeah. a young age, at 10, at 9, we know what's right from wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that we're participating in activities that are directly correlating to death of individuals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're surrounding ourselves with groups that you know that can do harm. Whether mm-hmm. you think like, oh, I went in with an intention of... You know, oh, I, we didn't want to do this. We didn't want to do that. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't yeah. matter. No, it happened. Yeah. It happened, yeah. yeah. You know, we, we can justify how we like. Yeah. We, we, yeah. we can justify how we like. Oh, he was doing this. He was doing that. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Doesn't it matter. doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Killing and life is not in your hands. It's not yeah. for you to dictate how that works. Yeah. If you have confrontation with someone, be like, hey, I, it's a conversation. Even if you are having a conversation, understand where you are, what's going around. Yeah. Yeah. Like they shouldn't even come to that point where crime is the only thing that you resort to. Yeah. To um yeah, man, it breaks my heart. That that story kind of broke my heart when it yeah. when it came out like like how many times that kid was like even stabbed and like killed. Yeah. Yeah. At what cost, man? Yeah. Like look like yeah. like the your parents should never have you should never be the one to either like cremate you or bury you you should never outlive no. they want to outlive you, you know you yeah, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. our parents yeah. the, it shouldn't be the, yeah, shouldn't be the other way yeah, where your parents no, are the one that are grieving the loss of the kid yeah no. 
and it's so sad man and so like for the kids out there it's just like man understand the repercussion of this um yeah. it's not a joke yeah. well, i mean it's it's also too where <clears throat> we're saying it from out, outside perspective right mm. so like if let's just let's let's like if we do take an assumption like okay let's say if you are in a gang or whatever it is mm. in that type of scenario right how tough would it be to really get out of that situation Oh, in general? In general, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like not related to the story or whatever. No, yeah, just yeah, in general. Like in if, general, you're, yeah, if you're yeah. on that type of environment, right? It, Imagine yeah. how difficult it is because majority of your support group is within that circle. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's difficult, like, like point blank turn. Like, there's nothing else you can say about that. But yeah. the thing is, it's also choices, right? Life's mm-hmm. about choices. Yo. And then the problem with that is, like, I think uh, what people don't people fail, fail to understand is your upbringing is mm-hmm. what det- what causes you to make these choices. Like Broken home, bad yeah. parents, you yeah. know, abusive parents. Like, there's so many factors. But here's the thing. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, none of that matters when another life is lost. Because at that point, <coughs> I don't care if you're... You're like, a gangbanger, you're yeah, this, you're yeah, that. that. Like, yeah. like you're, if, yeah. you, if you take away a life from another person's family, yeah. <clears throat> I don't care w- in what way it was what done. Yeah. And especially if it was not like a self-defense, even, even if it was self-defense, right? There's a way to, to have self-defense without having to the resort to that type resort of... To that, unless it's absolutely necessary. But even then, how often do we see those cases, right? Mm. Uh, That's the thing though, man. It's like, and, and thing is like, we were talking about like, you know, I don't want to dive deep into the case, but like, even yeah. if you're talking about what the repercussion is, yeah, you know what I mean? To a certain extent, we don't know the ins and out of the case. Like, I don't, yeah. like, I don't know the full extent to it. We don't yeah. know what happened. Yeah. But... The accountability, like, and thing is, like, what Canada laws are lenient to a certain yeah. extent when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. Like, um, and that's one thing that, I, and you can actually speak more to it because yeah. it's more your field. Yeah, it is more <laughs> my field, yeah. The Criminal Youth Justice Act is, it, it, there are parts of it, and I'm obviously going to say how it is, it needs to be reformed. Because I feel like if you're 16, you have enough cognitive function here yeah. to understand killing someone is not okay. Yeah. yeah right? True. Like, I understand maybe shoplifting, you get a little slap on the wrist, whatever, right? Like, yeah. do if you're doing something that's not harming someone, like, they're in the terms of, like, physically, taking their lives, like, taking their lives and stuff, I think there's ways around it. Even, But there are certain things, like, for example, like, when you're 16, you know better. You don't, like, when I was 12, bro, I knew not you to, know. like, kill someone, At a young right? age, you know what's like, right from what? Like, you know not to kill someone. You know not to, like, obviously take take advantage of someone sexually like there's like certain principles and morals that you should have right and it's just it baffles me that the the charges sometimes for some even for other cases for kids uh that are you know under the age of 18 Mm. they get off with a year of juvie maybe two years of like prison like and this is completely unrelated to the case we just talking about we're talking about in general general right in in case i've looked at right and because i've done the studies for other cases for classes i've taken in uni because i did crim but it's it's crazy man because it's like how much because le- yeah. you this kid will take a year in juvie right mm-hmm. or whatever jail mm-hmm. he'll get out it won't be on his record mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so his entire life he can go out he can go on get yeah. a job be forget about it yeah that family yeah. doesn't get to forget yeah. that family starts to deal with it yeah and on top of that a year of your life two years of your life even if some people get community service bro it right is, yeah. and it's like okay you're getting a punishment mm. but are we really gonna value someone's life at a year's worth of uh, community service or a year in prison? Yeah. Is that really what we're doing here? And thing is, like, and it you know comes I mean? down to is that person actually changing for the good? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you get out, it's essentially here's the thing. One thing it does is sets a really bad precedent. Because listen, like now think about it this way. You're a kid in high school, right? Yeah. So you can probably you can probably like understand what I'm about to say. Yeah. Someone, let's say some some the case like this happens at your school. Right, yeah. there's kids in your school. You probably know that are kind of like a little have a little bit of loose ends, right? Yeah. Little loose screws, right? They yeah. they see this like, I'm only gonna get a year, maybe two, yeah. Yeah. if I end up like murking this kid yeah. or doing this to this kid. Yeah, does that not worry you? It does worry you because obviously, bro, like they they're gonna be like, oh, it's not that much of a punishment, right? Yeah. So I can go ahead and do this. And it won't be that much, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's like, bro, like, why are you even thinking of doing it in the first place? But that's the problem, right? You're, yeah. the, the precedent you're setting is dangerous. Yeah. It's all about precedent because it once is. you set it, a judge has to follow it and it's very hard to overrule a rule precedent them, yeah. because of the way our law, our, law, our system or yeah. justice yeah. is set up. Yeah. Right? And the thing is, like, the stories can be misconstrued as well because mm. you don't know what's... The thing is, like, <clears throat> given what's going on, I mean, yeah. a story can be misconstrued from... If someone's dead, they can't give the story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And now it yeah. falls back on who's there 
Yeah. And if it's a big crowd and you can't tell what's what's nah, wrong, what's right, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Even if there's there's people around, you can't nah. tell. Yeah. Those people can just tell you like what's going on from one perspective, but at yeah. the end of the day it comes down to what? Following the rules and regulation that are set in place for these certain things. Yeah. And the leniency that's given to certain kids, it's um it's kinda shocking to me. Like if you're sixteen years old, all right, or seventeen years old, eighteen years old in high school, like you shouldn't have to first fear for your life going to school. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to go to school with the worry of like, am I going to make it back home today? Yeah, no, and the that's pro- crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. When I was 16, bro, I was trapping on Pokemon cards. <laughs> hey, you know, when I was sorry, like 12, 13, I, 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 I was just learning English. I was, learning, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was doing my own thing, right? Like I was, ha- I was doing what kids do: playing with cards, playing video games, going out. Yeah. And these kids were doing are doing the same. But the thing is, nowadays they have to be so careful because you never know. Because like. The one thing is all the older crowd will still hang around at high schools and stuff. Yeah. Like like kids in grade 12, they'll just graduate. You probably know this. They're like kids yeah. that graduated last year. They'll come around maybe <laughs> come around, and come around and be like, what's yeah. up? You know, and it's like, yeah. it's like, bro. Yeah. What the hell? What are you I didn't even yeah, I didn't do that. I fucking did. Yeah. I graduated. I was like, peace. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Like it, even like talking to like you know, cause the Mook direct he he trains people here and there in our community. You know, like <laughs> even with her beer, he trains them here and there, right? No, no you have the former background. Trainer, no, you can train people <laughs> no, if you oh, really wanted to. Like jack- one time yeah. I went with him, bro. I was just fucking tired. I'm like, I didn't even do shit. Yeah. I was hopping and puffing. I didn't literally get <laughs> a couple ladders. But even <laughs> like with you, man. Uh, uh, you come around decent amount of youth. Like how many people you actually see reach out to you? Be like, bro, like. I'm gonna go down a bad path because people they don't even want to do the reach out. They think this is yeah. something that's normal. Yeah, you think yeah, this yeah, is yeah, something yeah. that's when it's dangerous. No, it's not it's even normal. the shame. They think this is normal. They, they think being in groups and stuff, yeah. this is cool, it's like in fashion. Yeah. Not even they just think it's like, oh, it's I'm a part of it. Yeah. It's all good. Dude, the craziest yeah. story is uh, like I won't mention the school and stuff, because yeah, 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 yeah. I know we, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but I used to uh, I used to be an assistant coach for this t- for the school. Yeah. And there was a star player. He was an amazing kid. He, we actually won our, they won their first champion. Yeah. Right? First ever in history. And this kid is really genuine. He's very hardworking. Yeah. I, for me, it's like whenever I train someone, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm going to put you in discipline. Like, I'm going to put a lot of discipline on you. Yeah. Right? If you're going to yeah. cry, cry. Do whatever the fuck you want. I was like, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna show you next level of discipline that your parents haven't given you, <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? Because for me, it's like, yo, you gotta build that. You gotta build that. Uh, what, uh, what do you say? Calluses in you your mind, it. right? Yeah. Because yeah. that's gonna help you along the future too. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what's missing a lot in the youth too, yeah. is that it's the wrong type of discipline. Oh, no, it's a, it's basically like, oh, this is what you should do. Yeah. yeah. But instead of instead of instead of having to guide them, right? So yeah. mm-hmm. for me, it was like, you know, this kid, right? Star player, he had a lot of potential. And now he hears he's into that type of scenario now, right? He's just yeah. lost all that to this point. And it's just like, like, it's crazy. Because yeah. you see a lot of these kids that have a lot of potential. I know, And man. then they go into the shit. It's like, why, why are you going to, like, yeah. basketball is a perfect, you know, if you have I some like, sort of issues, like I had a lot of issues, family issues when I was a kid. Yeah. Sports was my outlet. Yeah, right? of course. And, and it just helped me a lot to progress within where I'm trying to go to now. Mm-hmm. Really and it's just like, I don't know what it is, like, is you know, it maybe it's just like an influence from other people that no, are around? No, that, and I think too, um, kind of correlating back all this, where it's stemming from his parents. Yeah. yeah. Bro, like, I, I'm thankful for my parents. Uh, they've always been involved, no matter what, man. Yeah, High yeah, school days, same. they knew where I was at, what time they had to pick me up, what time they were uh, dropping me off. Yeah. Nowadays, bro, uh, we're like in this rat race where parents are neglecting their kids to a point they have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I've seen they, it first time, bro. No. They, they have yeah. no idea. I think for at the end, I'm not blaming the parents. I'm saying, oh, you guys are all wrong. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying like take more accountability. Accountability in regards to understand what your kids are doing. Um, what are they up to? What kind of activities are doing after schools? Mm-hmm. Don't just trust them. Take them. Go with them. Yeah. Yeah, if they're yeah. saying, you oh, I have a game to go to play, I'll, I'll go with you. Yeah. Don't be like, okay, I'll, you, I'll see you at 9, nine 10, or yeah. I'm already passed out. You come home like 12. Yeah. Yeah. And no questions are asked. Yeah. yeah. The, other, the other question too is, I actually talked to my dad about this. Yeah. Right? I was like, there are some people that should not have be, be having children when mm. they're not ready. Because mm. the thing is, like, when you have children at a point where you're barely able to you know, Make pay off your own expenses and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then you're, you, then you have extra amount of responsibility on your mind too. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Right, and then you're putting you're putting these children in different types of situations where they're trying to run away from households and stuff. Mm-hmm. So my thing is like, build yourself up first. And honestly, like immigrants are not really taught that. Right, they're taught to have a family, start working, have kids. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's fair. Yeah. So. I wanted to add to your point. So, um, obviously speaking on go out with your kids take accountability we actually had this topic on the our podcast not too long ago and jasmine brought up a really good point and someone in the comments on tiktok actually said something it mm. kind of it kind of made me think yeah so 
Jasmine was like, you know, back in the day when I used to go to my soccer games, my parents would be always on the sideline, go, cheering, go, yeah. go cheering, right? And yeah. like, you guys probably remember, like, yeah, you know, like, I remember my dad would be on the sidelines, like, just go to moderate, right? yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yeah. like uh, do I go to the yeah. 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 <laughs> All the car ride back, just getting shut down. Like, I know, that's so true. Your dad was going to the gas, who can do everybody go to the gas? Yo, this was so funny. Yeah, it was so funny because I remember this story one time, like, with my dad. Man, I paid my heart out. He's like, so did John Haney. Yeah. That was his response. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? He's supposed to like cheer me up. I feel yeah. sad as shit. I didn't <laughs> Bro, I, I legit the same thing. I was like, uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Soccer deep was a, was a Ladu. I legit was built like a Galab Dhaman or a Ladu. You can give me that. Right? I, was, was I was. I was. I can't run. They just put you yeah. in there. They put me in there as just like a linebacker essentially in soccer, bro. Like I was like just tackling. Right? I was just tackling. Maybe like, right? But dude, yeah. I would try my best, right? Like for what I had. And um, obviously, I got, regardless of whatever happened, I look back on that now, I'm thankful for my mom and dad yeah, for yeah. going out, right? And like, supporting as much as they could, knowing well, like my dad actually had a bit of and everything, he still chose to come, right? Yeah. So I was, you know, shout out dad, right? But um, <laughs> I, Jasmine brought this up in the podcast and we put it up as a clip and we're mm -hmm. like, oh, why don't parents do this anymore? Mm -hmm. And obviously I think we were ignorant in the fact that we didn't consider this, times have changed. Yes. The economy is very different. And it someone is. left a comment saying, if I were to go to my kid's game, then I would have to choose between that or getting groceries, groceries yeah. True. or or True. doing this or that. And then I thought True. about it. And I'm like, we were talking about on the ride here. There's I know people in in where uh, Vancouver, where I like by where I live yeah. that are making, you know, hundreds of thousands, of, like yeah. hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, let's say yeah. roughly, which <laughs> 10 years ago, you'd be laughing, bro. Oh, yeah, you'd be yeah, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> now they're struggling. Think about that household income of 200,000 and they struggling. <laughs> and then uh, and then they have no kids. No, no kids. kids. No kids too. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then I was just like thinking, I'm like, yeah, like times have changed. So that same dynamic of like that single parent working, one person staying at home isn't as common as it used to be, right? Mm. But I think there is ways to, to obviously balance. balance it out. Yeah. Maybe like, obviously if it's the games <coughs> on the weekends, you don't work weekends, it works, right? Yeah. Uh, but if your game's like say Wednesday night, like a high school for your basketball game or something, then it's like hard. Right? See, the thing is, brother, man, like it comes out, we can make, we can say all this. We can yeah. say you're getting groceries, this, that, but exactly. at the end of the day, man, mm. there's always balance. There's balance. There's, mm. At the end of the day, <clears throat> life is about how you can sacrifice what yeah. you in the present moment mm -hmm. to put forth the best forward uh, foot to mm. lead a next generation to success. Yeah. That's what it's about. Mm. And not, I'm not saying those people are making excuses, but at the end of the day, you, those are part of it. Mm. You, yeah. That doesn't mean oh because I have to go get let's say let's let's take that example be like well uh, that means I don't get groceries right yeah now you're using that as like some sort of like excuse be like oh that's why my kids like oh he's not in sports because I have too much on my plate this that yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da. Yeah. no man this is just excuses that we make for ourselves I'm telling you yeah. we have more than enough time we have we have enough time like in a brown household mm. to sit down like as dads to a couple pegs chilling there on sofa we have we have more time to gossip mm -hmm. as as moms and stuff and aunties and as dads we have more time to sit down and drink and be in our own world but when we try to hold accountable as kids they want to like yeah. almost deem as like we're not we shouldn't be giving them that judgment because mm -hmm. we're kids yeah. because that's where it, com it comes from their side as arrogance because like so no question yeah. yeah but we're the byproduct of what you guys have shown to us yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we're trying to change that that doesn't mean we're looking down on you guys we're just trying to do better from what you guys have put us in a position to do yeah but it's not just um the grocery side of things too because the, the comments there's so, many that. there's so many things right there's yeah. some people that literally can't afford to For, put their kids that's true that too and yeah. then there's people like i have to work a second job in the evening to help support like to get the groceries in the first place yeah and that's what the comment was saying i should clarify that's my that bad. is a tough balance right? between i mean it's not really it's, like, that's like the thing you, it's like what are, you, what are you supposed to do at that point yeah like, no, try, no, no, try no. explaining that to like a single mom right like, but it's gonna be that hard. falls back on uh, original story when we start the gurdwaras huh. if you go to every church you know where we used to ball in high school hmm. no you know no was church, oh, church yeah. had the <laughs> nicest ball <laughs> court bro yeah. How many Gurdwaras you go to even have some sort of any type of soccer field, basketball court outside? Yeah, yeah. Any of the Gurdwaras in Edmonton? Yeah. 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 How many? My Gurdwara and Abby has a, a soccer field in the back, like a pretty No, your so guys do. No, well. here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. Six, six, no, no, six, no. Six, no, no. Abby? No, no, those zoo. Oh. I had a basketball I'm talking court. about Edmonton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, 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 there's none, There's one, maybe, but it's not even a field. It's not even, bro. Like, I think it's like that's the main thing that was promoted, even when it when it takes you back to our gurus. What's the one thing the promoter we talked on the podcast yesterday with Sarv? He was talking about how gurus they were into, like, Koshti, they were Lagatra and stuff like that, because they were doing these things. Now it's only doing based off of, oh, 
ਸਾਡੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਖੋਲੀ ਆ ਪੈਸੇ ਪਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਨੇ ਆ ਯਾ ਨੋ ਨੋ ਬ੍ਰੋ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਥੀ ਔਰ ਨਾ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਥੀ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਅ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਔਰ ਗੋਟ ਔਰ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਰੋਲਸ ਰੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਹੈਜ਼ ਨੋ ਹੀ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪੀ ਓਕੇ ਆਮ ਨਾ ਬਾਸ ਬੋਕ ਔਰ ਕਮਾਂ ਯਾ ਕਮ ਔਨ ਮੈਨ ਨੋ ਮਾ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਆ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਇਨ ਅ ਡੀਸੈਂਟ ਗੋਟ ਔਰ ਦਨ ਆਈ ਗੈਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਆਰ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਐਵਰੀਵੇਅਰ ਆਮ ਨਾ ਕਸੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਪਰਫੈਕਟ ਗੋਟ ਔਰ ਕਿਸ ਨੋ ਗੋਟ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਪਰਫੈਕਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਗੋਟ ਔਰ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਵੈਰੇਵਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਨਸਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਨਸਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ Best that's where best yeah that's perfect that's perfection to me mm-hmm. but i'm saying in terms of everything outside of that mm-hmm. obviously every gordara has its own struggles right exactly yeah. my gordara at least had we had a wrestling uh like a like like a camp or club downstairs in like mm. the basement area yeah. which is great great so right underneath the gordara great and we had like a huge soccer in the back where we play soccer games on the weekends right yeah. so it was it was balanced in that aspect but bro i'm not going to lie like it took a It it takes a while for Gordar to Gordar, put, yeah, put, yeah. put that out to get That's that true. right because that the one thing with our Gordar we got uh, that we have there is like so a lot of it is obviously was government funded I mm. or it wasn't fully it wasn't fully just like bootstrapped on person because you get a lot of you get a lot of uh, money from Donations the government this, to do uh, a yeah. non-profit incentives religious, yeah you get like, a, a lot of incentives yeah exactly so <laughs> the thing is that Gurdwaras do have money man they do look yeah. at Ramgadia. Mm. Ramgadia used to be half of it was just you know how it's white. Yeah. It was the building behind it. They built five floors mm. for a good daughter. Like I mean, yeah, for school for the Punjabi school. I was like, why? You know what? Nanak Sarai. Nanak Sarai. No, no, no. No, it's Punjabi. It's like a Millwoods. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's a different. Nanak Sarai Gordo is crazy, by the way. Yeah, on point. I've been there for a bit. Yeah. But yeah, like Ramgadia, they have five floors. I I went to Punjabi school there when I was a kid, and it's like they have five floors for this Punjabi school, and there's barely any. I don't know. It's probably five kids in one class. It's probably up to grade seven. It's wow. like, why not just instead of building such a huge thing, huge mm-hmm. building, mm-hmm. invest it into building something that's recreational, though, yeah. and try yeah. to engage with their the with kids, the youth, like, right? Yeah. Right? And it's just like it's it's very the thing is like people say like go to Gurdwara. I'm not saying don't go to Gurdwara. Mm. Go to Gurdwara and stuff, but don't be manipulated with these people, man. They're very fucking <laughs> they're very fucking tricky, man. Like I know like the head community, <clears throat> he has a large business here in Edmonton, right? I know them very closely, and they're very manipulative. So it's just like. Like what you're saying, there's like 300 gudras that we don't even know. We don't barely even know five. <laughs> like what the fuck? 300, man. I can't get over the list. You could probably pull, pull up on on like. Uh, you can open a gudra tomorrow. Yeah. That's was ridiculous, don't. man. <laughs> don't though. Don't though. Don't though. Don't though. Don't though. Don't though. Yeah, no, we're no, the gudra no, no, no. police. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start one. Yeah, we're gonna start a business. The gudra police. Yeah, reporting all them. We're gonna ask the government to give us incentive. Yeah, yeah. We're reporting all these motherfuckers. Hell no. Yeah. Unless I can come inside your house and matter and get some prasad, and that's I'm shutting you down. I'm shutting you down. Yeah. Putting yeah. a nail on a blowing a paper, <laughs> yeah. wall, everything. Yeah, but it's a little bond. Yeah, but it's in our community, man. It's it just is. the way it is. Like, yeah. parents don't know what emotional, like how to how to deal with emotional issues. <clears throat> They don't yeah. know how to talk about that. So it's 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 derived from our past. Of course, yeah. And the only way to really move forward with it is like if we do something about our future, right? Yeah. Y- you know, it's so funny. Like her beard is actually he's it could be a good testament to this. Um, as we spoke about how parents don't have uh maybe they don't have the money or they they can't afford to yeah like her be like you've been around people that are trainers that are this there are good people out there if you explain the situation be like look i don't have the money why not i only yeah. got this amount there are people that are willing to help is whether yeah. you want to put yourself out there and be like you know what have the humility yeah. Yeah. to do better by your kid because you know this mm-hmm. is going to lead them to at least different alternative to yeah. be in a positive environment yeah. and do better by themselves right yeah. so have that humility if you are going through a tough time i reach out to people because there are people yeah. that do yeah. want to help yeah. you out right 100%, 100%, yeah. yeah we actually have this thing in bc i don't know if we they do in edmonton it's called kids play foundation yeah we have it, it you have too cool yeah. yeah so yeah. the owner of it cal Assange, uh he, like he's a ex you're not ex he's a current police officer in vancouver yeah. he started it and it's actually a free a uh, foundation that where kids can actually come and play sports free of yeah. free of charge yeah. and it's it's so cool because it's like you literally like you said sports is an outlet mm. he's helped so many kids out of that life yeah. and um yeah no it's stuff like that is like an initiative like from our community right? like how sarda bandaya right like he's mm. a good guy he started that and it's like it's all it's non-profit too right and like yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that's like what you want to see in the community because yeah. it's good to support stuff like that right yeah yeah, yeah but circling back to I want to get to the story we were talking about earlier it's like i think the biggest disappointment i have like with everything it's just the accountability aspect from different parties right yeah. not just and i'm not talking about the specific case i'm talking about cases in general like oh mara ho gaya chal koi gal nahi right and it's yeah, like that that on. mentality is what pisses me off yeah. about up in it right okay, yeah, yeah. like
at the end of the day, it's like I've I've seen people be like. And this is completely unrelated to the case that we're talking about, but this is just like a different case and like mm. whatever. Literally, people will tell someone like, Jal, you know, your kid's not here, but my kid still is. Why are you trying to ruin his life? Mm. Right? Yeah. Or stuff, something along that lines, right? Of like yeah. stuff like that. And it's like zero accountability. It's like my, my son can't do any wrong. Yeah, yeah. He, might, yeah he might have done this, but it's my son. I know him best. But yeah. it's like, you were never there. You weren't there to see all that. Yeah. You, you, you asked the parent, like you said, where are you after hours? Like, kids coming and going whenever they want mm-hmm. and it's not trying to control your kid's life and you know lock them in a cage but it's you like know, at least having some sort of like you know you, you parenting you, skills to be you like yo do, you, you man know? you need to have some sort of guideline to understand yeah, your kids bro. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, like, no it's needed bro yeah, yeah, okay it's needed. as much as not, crazy not like actually the question <laughs> yeah, like, no no as crazy <laughs> as it sounds there was a point where like i like feared my dad in a way where like Same. he holds authority yeah. To this day, I do. Yeah. Facts. Nowadays, you man, kids are talking back. I'm like, damn. I'm yeah. I'm getting old as hell. I don't talk to my dad. I, yeah. I feel ashamed. Kids these like days, that? yo, people are talking back, talking crazy. Talking Cause crazy you know too. why? Cause parents are allowing this behavior yeah. to continue, and parents are not taking accountability for the deficiencies they have. Like, yeah, are evident in the kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying we're not perfect. But mm-hmm. we strive to be better human beings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it starts with accountability That's as bad. parents, right? Yeah. And if we're not taking that onus upon ourselves, then who is? Your kid's going to be byproduct of the environment you put forth. Yeah. If yeah. you're MIA in regards to having a talk with them, uh, not understanding where they are, mm-hmm. guess what? It gives them a full, free, Freedom. open book to do yeah. whatever the hell exactly. they want. Mm-hmm. Ain't no one going to stop them. They're getting money, this, that. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. The amount of kids that I know are allowances. I'm like, allowances. What the hell is When allowance? I was 12, 13, mom, like, you want to buy something? Go, go work for it. Yeah. yeah. That's 12, 13. Nah. I, nah like, that crazy. wasn't even legal. Now they'll be like, oh, it's not legally Joaka. Hell no. You yeah. 12, 13, get your ass to work, and I don't care what it is. Yeah. Because yeah. that shows you discipline from an early age. Be like, yo, our parents worked hard for to put us here. Guess yeah. what? You got to understand the value of, like, hard work yeah. and what money means. Yeah. Because yeah. money is not just people. Money is correlated to yeah. one discipline and it correlated to hard work yeah, at the end yeah, of the day yeah, 100 it, it's not just handed out yeah if it was just handed out man every, it'd be, life be good life <laughs> nobody be, would be stressed yeah. no one would be stressed <laughs> Stop yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah exactly bro but i have a question for you herbie yeah. herbie herbie right herbie, yeah. yeah yeah i have a question for you and i'm gonna release back to what you just said mm-hmm. how many people in your school high school currently drive like Nice cars, like grade twelve. Like, like oh. get, be honest, crazy. Crazy. Both yeah. crazy. Be honest with like SRT, like drove you Almost all, like, all, almost all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's start on this. We did this topic last night on my pod, so we're gonna be on your pod now. I want I know you be honest with me because you're in the high school right now, so you can speak to this more than yeah, I can, right? Sure. How many of those kids work for that car? None of them. Like Not, maybe one or two. Maybe one, maybe two, one maybe rare. Maybe one, one, rare, one rare kid yeah. that's like paying for all insurance yeah. and all that type of stuff, but right? Nah. Yeah. Does that do? Would you guys say, like, obviously, that right there is bad parenting, though? What would you guys say? Because I think some people, like, some parents have it like that. They can buy their kid a car, right? Yeah. I'm going to say it for what it is. My my dad bought me a car, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, obviously, it wasn't no SRT, nothing, right? Yeah. But I was happy with it. Like, I'm yeah, always so. grateful for whatever my dad gets me, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think the reason I'm bringing this topic up is because, again, it goes back to kids thinking their life is so easy. Mm-hmm. Then they go, okay, I want to try to get some fast money. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to have any stress. I have a fallback option. My parents, the amount of people yeah. that are I know that are, like, 23, 24, 25 that are still reliant on their parents to pay for a car, a new house, everything. It's yeah. crazy to me. You know why I would say that's bad parenting is because given yeah. the times. The reason why I say that's bad parenting, we evolve as parents uh, yeah. given the time frame. Yeah. So in yeah. certain time frame, we act a certain way. Now we're in 2024 mm-hmm. where social media presence plays a huge part in the way your kid maneuvers. Yeah, 100%. 100%. A, yeah. A, a kid that's given a car at a young age in high school, man, in high school, yeah. Yeah. a yeah. fancy car that's worth 17, 80, 70, 80, K. Yeah. Guess what? First thing they're doing, take a couple of pictures, yo, know, snap a Snapchat a couple of girls, this, yeah. that, put it on the story on Instagram, because that's, right, yeah, yeah. that's all that that's we all that are matters. consumed by. Yeah. So when it comes to that side, 100% that's bad painting, unless yeah. your kid is born with like, I wouldn't say born, but... I would say here's the thing. I had this t- topic. Th- th- that's a tough yeah. man. It's, it's tough. tough. It's tough, right? But this yeah. is what I said, and you guys can tell me if you think I'm wrong. Be honest with me. Yeah, yeah, Be yeah, blunt, yeah. right? Mm. Well, all right, Mook? So I think for me, I would get my kid a sick car. Hear me yeah. out though. Huh. If they show me that they have like respect towards themselves, me and everyone around them, they're yeah. good, they're good in school yeah. and they're not doing some stupid ass shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then at that point, I'm not going to say it's warranted or it's deserved. Mm-hmm. Cause like obviously like no one deserves a car. No oh, one yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not like a, it's not a need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But at that point, obviously the same way my dad did for me, I'll be like, but this is your budget. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. 
because it, but that, that's like the kid has to earn that. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like like. No, right? Like, bro, I've been working since I was 16. I was doing night shifts at fucking Cineplex, 2 in the morning, yeah, come back yeah. home, fucking school in the morning again, like 7 a.m. Yeah. Like yeah. Was I late to school every day? 100%. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna sit here. And, like, I, was there, though. Yeah. I was there, though. I was there, though. And I got decent grades, but you know, I was like, you know, I wasn't no A plus student, but I still tr- I tried. Yeah. Like, eventually, right? And then um, I think the reason I was bringing it up, though, too, is another question I wanna ask you, Herbie. Mm-hmm. Right? Out of those, all the it's all the guys that have these sick cars, right? Yeah, would you say the, would you say even, even some girls, even some right? girls, right? Bro, yeah. so, you're right? It's Yo, crazy. And here's the thing: even the fucking here, girls. Even the, <laughs> <laughs> okay, AMG, bro. roll down the windows, a girl. Yeah, yeah, AMG, bro. Beamers, anything, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. No, no. I, I think um, I was gonna say is uh, I've seen this. I don't know, like um, my Jasmine brought it up last night on the podcast, and I want to ask you guys this too: yeah. is that would you say like there's if there's a family dynamic of a one boy, one girl? Hmm. And like the boy gets like the seventy, eighty thousand dollar car, but the girl gets like shit all. Like fuck, she doesn't even get a hoopty. Hmm. Right? Have you guys seen that dynamic any any before? Like Have you guys seen that before? I mean, it stems from our, our culture in it a d- sense where. Um, I said I was like valuing the old times though. The yeah. ideology yeah. is going yeah. away, but it's yeah. still prevalent yeah. back home. Yeah. Here, there is prevalent, maybe yeah. not as much, but it is prevalent with our lives. We place more importance on 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 a. Um, on a gay, uh, on a man. Yeah. I, I give them one example. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> this is one family. I don't want to. I don't out them. Yeah, I don't out them. They had yeah. four, four girls. Oh wow. Then and, and the last kid was I think she, she was, nineteen I want to say. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then they decide to be like you know let's try one more time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So look at the date difference. And then guess what? Yeah, girl. Rabbi yeah. Nikia, one more girl. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and then and they didn't and they're like they didn't try. I understand you know you want to carry forward your bloodline. That, cause that's how you guys carry it forward but yeah, yeah. don't overlook the blessing of what a kid means regardless exactly. of what gender it is yeah yeah exactly yeah. Kid, I think people are too fixated on that man yeah. kid is a kid yeah yeah to instill morals values yeah Yo, by the third girl, I personally would be like, even I wouldn't even go for that. First <laughs> of all, I'd be like, I'm I wouldn't kidding. even go for all that. I'd be like, yo, listen, right? Yo, girls yeah. are expensive. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, bro. Yeah. No, 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 Sometimes guys, when they'll watch this, they'll, they'll hear you say things, mm-hmm. and, and, and they'll be like, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> bro, yeah, fuck yeah. these podcasters, bro, yeah, yeah, who do yeah, they yeah. think yeah. they are? Who do they think they are? Celebrities, bro? Yeah. Yo, yo, bro, let's start a podcast. Like, <laughs> I get that comment every fucking time I upload on TikTok, man. Yo, bro. Yeah. I just started part. commenting back, I'm like, please think of something creative to hate on me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll, like, bro, please. Holy man. But no, you know, Herbie, like, it's, we were talking about how the dynamic in a household. Yeah. Like, you, now you're growing up. Mm-hmm. Like who you are as a person and you want to stray away why is that because you are an epitome of like you're in that environment around these people 24 yeah. 7. it's not something you can just avoid you're in there it's high yeah. school it's high school man. why would you yeah. say like what makes you want to for the kids out there that do want to stay away like what's the one thing you would say be like yo focus on this don't focus on that like is it easier like well, how would you say to go decipher that like bro, staying away from that crowd because bro like the value of hard work like that feeling of getting something that you work hard for is much better than getting it handouts you know yeah mm. so like when you ever whenever you work something hard, hard for it right like you feel like much better for yourself right mm. and like, you know what uh, I'm, I'm here i got this by my own hard work instead of like oh yeah my dad bought me this my mom bought me this right yeah and like when it comes to the overall like idea of like kids staying away from that you feel you find yourself through like your own passion it's but why do you think that is though? why do you why do you stay away from it is it because your parents is it because of self my parents my parents for See, sure exactly yeah. would you say yeah. parents, parents. There you it go. always comes back to our parents and yeah. uh, man what our parents teaching is the main leading factor to who we are, ought to become yeah, yeah. they're an example for yeah, you, man. Exactly. they set right? the example you follow it yeah. same yeah. way you set an example for your younger siblings exactly bro, right? they have like values you know they can teach you and like they have like new manners you gotta learn right yeah like these days like kids don't even <coughs> spend time with their like mom and dad yeah so how can you like i've i've them? seen i've seen the kids yell at their parents yeah, no, and yeah, i'm like yeah, crazy. bro bro yeah, that was yeah, me crazy. if that was me i'll be i'll be oh, the, i'll be done i'll be, done. <laughs> I'd be yeah. my mom would ship me off to a hostel in india so <laughs> fast I, i'd be in india before i could even finish the sentence bro like that you know what's the fucked up part though yeah it's i see it more often in people that are 30 40 years old you think like, yeah oh what do you mean 40? like like adults that, like that, that are adults, yelling, adults, that are talking like, back, back to talking their parents? back to their elders uh, really it is i i'm not coming to be honest i see that i've seen it too but i think at that point it's just like uh resentment, resentment like it's resentment <laughs> because because yeah. it, it's like 
ਦੂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਛੋਟਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਜੀਣਾ ਹਰਾਮ ਕਰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਪੀਣਾ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਜੋ ਪੀਤਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਪੀਣਾ ਚੁੱਪ ਕਰਕੇ ਬੇਸਮੈਂਟ 'ਚ ਬੈਠ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂਰ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਆਰ ਯੂਰ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੋ ਆਈਵ ਡਨ ਥਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਰ ਬੈਟਰਮੈਂਟ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਥਿੰਕ ਬਟ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟਲੀ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਦ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਇਫ ਥੇਰਸ ਐਨੀ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਗੋਟ ਟੂ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਿੰਪਥਾਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਯੂਰ ਕਿਡਸ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਟੂ ਜਸਟ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਵੇ ਯੂਰ ਨਿਊ ਆਪ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਵੇਰ ਵੇਰ ਨਿਊ ਆਪ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਕਿਡਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੇਰ ਆਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਿੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਨਿਊ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਵੇ ਔਰ ਅਨਦਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਿਊ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਫੋਰ ਥੈਮ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਅਪਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਟਿਕਟੋਕ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੇਵਲੈਂਟ ਇਸ ਵਾਟਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਕਾਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਅਲ ਥਿਸ ਬਿਗੇਸਟ ਰਿਫਟ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਆਰ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦੇ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਦ ਗਲੈਮਰਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਟਾਈਲ ਆਫ ਸਰਟਨ ਕਿਡਸ ਔਨ ਥੀਸ ਪਲੈਟਫਾਰਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਫੀਡ ਥੈਟ ਟੂ ਲਾਈਕ 7 8 ਇਅਰ ਓਲਡਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਕਿਡਸ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਕ kindergarten they have ipads that are literally be ripping tiktok like straight tiktok raw bro, right? brain raw and while while eating food these are young kids yeah. yeah kids can't eat without phones bro yeah. my or tablets my my yeah. six my six year old cousin right came up to me and was like yo can I have your phone real quick i was like sure <laughs> yeah. hey, i, I got to eat no no no, I, no 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 she gave i gave my phone she's like i want to text uh baji you like my older cousin want to text baji to come over yeah. so like, sure yeah no worries like la la yeah. right? like i was like first of all how do you know how to text straight for sure yeah, that's besides the point the kids are bad right yeah My 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 cousin's a baller, right? So he plays like he was playing ball. He's an attorney or whatever. <laughs> she texts. She's like, "Yo, are you gonna come over tonight for like the dinner?" Like, mm-hmm. like literally, my cousin, my six year old cousin, texting this. Yeah. yeah. And he's <laughs> and uh, she's like, she he's like, no, like uh, she's like, it's uh, it's me by the way. My my cousin. He's like, oh no, like I'm I'm, I'm about to pick up and play another game, right? Oh, and then yeah. she's like, yo, you're trash at shooting anyway. Like just come over, right? <laughs> right? And I'm like, I'm looking at her. Yeah, right? Who is this? Texting? I'm like, who is this six year old texting? Right? Obviously, mumble jumble. She's Talking mis- crazy. Misspelling some words here <laughs> yeah. and there for sure. Yeah. But I can make out what she's saying, and I'm like, yeah. straight talking crazy you're talking crazy i'm like <laughs> yo like, what are you doing <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then crazy, like man. and then I, i hear these kids now like this was a while ago right now they're older but i like they're like maybe i think they're nine now right mm-hmm. my cousin, same cousin bro mm-hmm. she'll swear at us mm-hmm. and i'm like Bart that's true though man i'm like yo yo that's so true I'm one like, of my nieces four or five yeah. she said fuck you to me i'm like what what the yeah. shit yeah. what? Yeah. i'm like yo yeah. i'm like you better you she's better like, stop yeah right. she's like cha cha fuck you i'm like what, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a sister, bro. Yo. That's a sister. Yo, yes. you're like, Chacha, fuck you. I'm like, what you mean? Yeah, I was like, what you mean, man? Then we can yeah, fuck you too. No, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, nah, play that. Started, started being with a six-year-old. This is a five-year. Oh. This, this, this is oh. a this is the basketball. Bro, competitor. See, Twenty years later, right? She's gonna whoop you. Yeah, yeah, bro. No, it's so true, though. I'll put you in a wheelchair, man. <laughs> you know, it's funny how you talked about that, um, like the girl and the and the guy dynamic in our in our culture. Yeah. yeah. You know that uh killing that happened in Southside by my house? Oh, yeah. uh, by the uh, yeah. Um, yeah. the yeah. petrol. Yeah, yeah. Take that in, man. Um one, I mean obviously I, I don't want to say like the guy like, and you know what? I don't want to I don't want to speak about it. Yeah. Like, it's just too much heat. But yeah. when it comes to just from the kid's perspective, it's a kid. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's There, there's rules and there's morals, there's ethics to everything. But Even when it comes to gang violence, right? Yeah. Taking or going out of your way, you'd be like, you know what? Nah, I gotta kill his bloodline too. Mm. An innocent life. For what? Yeah. Man. For some payback? It's get back. Then, the, but the thing is, people are so blinded by it. There's no, mor- bro. I think rules, morals, and any sort of self respect or kind of like when it comes to that stuff yeah. goes out the fucking window yeah. like so fast, right? And yeah. even and like we can relate this back to anything that's happened over the last God knows like hundred like yeah. since humanity started, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's always a, it's always like a cycle. Right, you cause someone pain, they cause you pain, pain yeah. and it's just cycle, cycle, forward, cycle, yeah. cycle, cycle, right? Mm. And it's a never-ending cycle. Yeah. The problem is you have to. That's why Guruji was always like, you have to let go, exactly, right? and you have to free yourself from it, because it, it's Maya. Yeah, right? it, it is. Right. Mm. right it's a one of the cause see we live in a in a time right of it's a tough yeah, it's yeah. tough time we live in um obviously like in a, in a time now where everyone can be very hateful but can also be very supportive. But it's like a
Like, I mean, cause this is going way off topic, but like, just keep it true to man. Bro's about to just... <laughs> yeah, let me get into politics. Let me get into politics. All of us canceled. But, anyway, but I, you have a government job. I don't really go no. into... <laughs> but you have true, a government job. But you... The censorship laws. Yeah, like, yes. I don't give a fuck anymore, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably make a deal with it. Dude, look at that. I don't think they have a lot, man. Dude, I don't think they have a lot. 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 Dude, I don't think they this guy, his own, his whole, his own house is broken. Mm. It's like, how exactly can you take care of a whole country if your whole own house is broken as fuck? And then you're allowing, man, I don't want to fuck. What immigrants? I, I, I think you're, I think you're going down a very, very <laughs> tight rope here, buddy. I know, I am. Okay, I'll, I'll kind of like cut to the chase. But well, like, apparently what, they're what, imprisoning what, people. Hate it, speech. It's just like there's no <laughs> discipline. There's no, there's no accountability. There's none of these things, right? Like, if you look at like a lot more, I mean, there's two sides of. You know, like other countries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you look at the Bay UAE, right? They're a lot more strict. You can't yeah. fucking chew gun. You can't even throw gun. Why do you think Garnaldo moved there? Huh? Like, why yeah, do you yeah. think Garnaldo moved there? Because the whole thing went Surrey. His house got shot, shot a few up. times. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. Him and uh, Gippy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Garnaldo's wife, um, someone I knew, knew her, and they were like, "Yeah, she put to move or not?" And I'm like, and we're talking about we're like Dubai, right? Yeah, du- Dubai, right? Yeah. I said like a Desi, bro. Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. Dubai. It's obviously Dubai, right? Dubai. Yeah. Ote Jalagiri, and it's like, yo, over there, so strict. There's no crime because the punishment is so severe. Bro, they're hot to love it, Bro, even throwing garbage, you said so severe down. That's how it should be, man. It's like it's quite aggressive. I think. I think. I think if. If you want to talk about severity, I think it has to weigh out the crime, crime yeah, right? Because exactly. I think if you take a life, there has to, what do we value a life at? I know that that's yeah. the thing, main thing. But you gotta it should work on. it should scare those people though, because the thing yeah, is, like, should. if you have if you have just like minor thing, like okay, you know what, you yeah, you do one crime. The thing is, like, one crime leads to another. Yeah, exactly. It it's up, it's right? a cycle, bro. Mm-hmm. Right? Because yeah. it's just like just like like I always say, we are very curious people. Mm-hmm. Right, we really want to push limits to where it is. Yeah. So the thing is, like, if you just steal one thing, like steal a candy, mm-hmm. you never know what two years later down the road what what else aggr- like something yeah. aggressive might be too, right? Yeah, yeah. So I just think that <coughs> this world has come become very sensitive, it's become very soft. Yeah. There are no standards. There are no. There's no uh, accountability, like we were saying yeah. before, right? It's just yeah. there needs, and it all leads up from from politics. You know, it all trickles down to yeah, everything. Right? It yeah. does. I think that's yeah, Western sure. society more so than the other side of the world, like Eastern. Yeah, that's Eastern true. side, like where, where we come from, India and stuff. There are there is still decent discipline in certain parts. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like my my dad, mom just went uh, or dad and sisters went to India. Yeah, bro, it's totally different. <laughs> it's straight. Oh, yeah. bro, Vancouver, no protagar, then they'll tell bro. I'm telling you, the shards there are crazy. They're like so oh, yeah. developed and stuff. They are. Like oh, it's, no, it's they like, are. It's, so, it's developed. so developed, and it's like crazy because I was thinking, right? Like I haven't been in India since 2012. 13. I don't, oh, so yeah, I've been, been a minute. minute, minute. Been a minute. Yeah. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the homeland, right? Yeah, yeah. But bro, I'm not lying. Last time I went, I was like, Tiga, Chalda. Like, this is like, like yeah. this is like a village. Bro, they, they got Tesla charges down there. They yeah. got, bro, oh, they have like everything. cafes. Everything. They got like yeah. crazy cafes down there, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the yeah. some of the cities, man, like in the concerts there, the nightlife is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even, I don't crazy. even participate in nightlife. You know and know? I'm like, it dick, bro. No, it's different. It's crazy. You know, funny story. So there's one guy, because like Tesla allows you to own Tesla, uh, Charger, if you have yeah. a land bung, right? Yeah. This one guy put it up. Guess what? what? Uh, Somebody took all his Tesla charges the next day. <laughs> he put 13 of them, bro. The next day, they're all gone. Oh, <laughs> shit, man. But, you know, one thing that we, I think going back to that same case, uh, when it comes to that, um, it kind of correlate back is with that guy who got shot up and then his kid getting shot up. Um, as an uh, adult, mm. that age, it's crazy, man. you're bringing a family, a wife, your, your your parents yeah into an environment that they didn't sign up and nor should they ever even go to yeah, yeah. if your kid is at a risk where like he could die the next day or your 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 wife your grandparents your your close family yeah that's a selfish act that is as a person who knowingly knowing the risk yeah. p- putting yourself in a position and when it comes to dirty yeah, you're putting man. your whole family at risk yeah, yeah. You don't know what's going to happen just to make an example out of it. Facts. And this sets the precedence up for our younger people. Oh, they're cool. This is something cool. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah. like, as you said, the leniency of the cases, yo, going, I saw, yo, look how much he got. It's all good. Even with the whole heist thing, no. the 20 million heist of the gold. Yeah. The guy who got arrested and whatnot. And the next day they let him out on bail. Man's out here in the gym in Brampton. Yeah. <laughs> bro's out here like <laughs> wrapping it up. Yeah, bro. Oh. He just Do almost think? pulled off $20 million worth of gold heist. Yeah, and the next crazy. day, after bro, he got arrested, he's at the Brampton gym. Bro thought this was GTA, man. Bro, I'm telling you. You know what the crazy part is? They mm-hmm. almost got away with it. Yeah. 
They I were, know, I saw that. They almost I got away that. with it. Yeah, they did. And it's like, bro, how? <laughs> how? Yeah. Richie coming out of Europe. <laughs> yeah, bro, I can't. Dude, I was going to say, like, another thing, too, you were talking about the severity of, like, how much do we value a life at, right? Mm. And it's, I think, um, once you start putting a dollar value to it, that's when shit gets fucked. It's fucked. Yeah. Right? Because th- there is no value for a life. Because it's not, it's not, uh, you can't replicate, you can't, like, just replenish someone's life. You can't just be like, okay, yeah, give man. me another hundred years. Like, it's just not a thing, bro. Yeah. Like, you're all acting like this is some, like, currency, bro. Like, you know, like, it's, yeah, that's it's, the one thing I would say to, uh, like, I want to give, like, a message to out there. Uh, yeah. Whether it's a youth, whether it's parents, anybody, man. Um, yeah. There's one life. Yeah. yeah. Man, be, put out good in the world, yeah. you'll get good back. You yeah. know, don't, and even if you don't, don't stray away from doing good things. Yeah. You know, because there's one, there's one Pramatham up there sees everything. Um, just have your head held high, yeah. regardless of what life does to you. Because a lot of people do tend to be like, man, like, in Nakosa, like, fuck it. Like, yeah, I've been through a lot. No, man, don't don't get deterred because yeah. the goodness that you, everybody has in their heart is needed. Facts. Yeah. And, and for the parents out there, like, we're not trying to bash you. We're not trying to put in a bad light, man. Yeah. Take accountability for your kids. Be there for your kids. Even if it's hard, there's plenty of things out there's there. There's resources, man. There's resources. Everywhere. Reach out. Be, yeah. be humble about it. Have that humility to reach out if you are going through the tough it, times. And let go of the pride. I think yeah. Aapne have so many pride. Like, so look, yeah. And it's like... Like you have you have it in you to ask for help when you need oh, it. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, man. Like especially yeah. when it's your kid. Like yeah. when it comes to like Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 It's bad, man. That case, Dad, huh? that case two years ago is what really got to me. That yeah. one two years ago. Mm-hmm. And know, it's still pending, everyone, too. It's, yeah, we even yeah. talk about how long it's been yeah. dragged on. It's still, yeah, it's still yeah, going. Yeah. It's not been settled. Nothing. Imagine if, like, okay, you know what? I, I'm not, I had nothing to do with the case, right? Imagine if that's my kid. Like, everybody needs to put themselves in a position. Like, we can never be in that position. Yeah. But have, you can have an understanding of, imagine if that's your kid. Yeah. And it's been dragged along for two, three years. And every time yeah. you go to trial, you got to relive it. Yeah. Every time. Every time. You know how horrible that must like must be, bro. For any like, it doesn't matter. Mom, dad, sister, brother. Yeah. That's the worst type of pain because you don't even get a chance to recover. Yeah. It just hits you, hits you, hits you, hits you. And it's like the thing is, you're gonna live with that lifelong like um, sort of like trauma, yeah. no matter what, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. But then to have it kind of shoved in your face and mm. then like almost like. Just you can never make ha- peace. You can never make yeah. peace with it. Yeah. And then there is no way to make peace with it because you yeah. lost your kid. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing that in the world that can ever bring you peace that's when it comes true. to stuff like that. Yeah, it it right. just uh, there isn't, right? The yeah. only thing that's like something is like okay, get it done, move past like the trial, like get those things done, mm. and then let the family try to heal, that's try true. to yeah, heal. Yeah, yeah. Like that, maybe they'll never be able to heal, right? Yeah. But at least let them try. At least don't give dang, them a peace of don't, mind. Don't dangle it in front of their face every yeah. like you know whatever, man. That's, that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, they should have a peace of mind to be like it's progressing somewhere. Yeah, when it's not progressing somewhere and it's just yeah. back and forth for two, three years now. Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. What are yeah. we doing at this point? What and are like, we doing? And the thing is, kids, like you probably know this, they talk about this shit all the time. Like even yeah. that case from probably two years ago, people are probably talking about because it's yeah. all over the news and stuff, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's like everyone has a story, everyone. and that's the thing: the story's never straight. And yeah. and it just developed into more and more stories. More and more right? shit, like yeah. oh, like don't have seen it, don't have no, I heard this, exactly. I heard that, and yeah. it's like, bro, at the end of the day, someone's not here. That's all that matters. Like that's literally all it is. Someone's yeah, yeah, not yeah. here because of someone else's so d- someone else's choice. Lost their life. Yeah. I know, man. Right. It just like b- besides all anything else, like the like Jovi Hoya whatever. Yeah. The yeah. main thing is, like you said, Amrit, is there's something that we everyone's not looking at, and it's yeah. someone's not here. Mm. Someone's family is suffering. Mm. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yep. Yeah. It leaves a cut, bro. Like that cannot. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a, you know, that's like, a yeah. unhealable cut. It's and that's someone, one. the person, no matter what people can say that that's never yeah. coming Yo, back. Yo, I right? think yeah. someone told me this too, and it's like uh it was one of my understood actually. It's like having a kid, you never feel that much love for anything else in the world than your kid. Yeah. Cause mm. you just won't. Like even for your parent, you feel love, obviously. But when you right. have your own kid, that's it's like different. a next level like love because you know like there's like, there's one thing that's like unconditional love mm-hmm. it's having a kid you will have unconditional love for that kid your parents you could have argument with your parents yeah you could have a spat with your parents you could have a fight with your parents yeah. the moment that you got hurt something happened your parents are well, freaking freaking out yeah, yeah, yeah they're like yo what's wrong with this 
the goddess of what happened everything could be forgotten be like yeah, oh yeah. whatever happened but guess yeah. what because that's an unconditional love that's unconditional love something yeah. that you yeah. can't take out of especially anybody. from a mom to yeah. a, to their kids daughter son holy yeah. yeah you can't there's no love in the world that's we, like that we, like that we got a different type of love though yeah <laughs> you guys yeah, yeah i mean i, I got yeah yeah <laughs> you guys started like sorry i told you yeah but, you know but i but the thing is that love i appreciated that love yeah, yeah because yeah. the thing is that taught me and showed me how to be the person i am today so, so the thing is about maybe if i went maybe if i got lenient love yeah or and not tough love yeah maybe i would have been a completely different person it, no it's true it's so, tough love but yeah. even when my, like i go with my dad my dad always been hard he's my toughest yeah. critic so, he yeah, wants yeah, me to do good and i never wants to do me bad and like yeah. right he wants me to succeed yeah. you know yeah. and then sometimes like even we do have spice like if i do something wrong right mm. like he pinpoints everything i do wrong yeah. which for him he the reason why, uh, for me for the longest time i'm like damn and i did i can't do nothing right god damn yeah. you yeah, know yeah, but for yeah. him it's like He's like, no, man. He's like, he, he might show it out of frustration, but it's yeah. for me to get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Is yeah. it the right way for me? Yeah, because it impacted me to the person yeah. that I am today. Yeah. 100%. Right? So we need to instill that more and more, man. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't want to dra- keep dragging this on, but yeah, as we said, man. Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's tough. I think fuck, no, it, man. It's, like, it's screw. Just, it, stop making excuses, man. Yeah. Be there for your kids. Uh, as kids, you know what's wrong and right. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. go around. Don't stop hanging on the fucking wrong crowds. Yeah. And this is girls too. Yeah. Stop getting involved with these guys that you know they're bad for you. Yeah. You knowingly That's go right. into situations, go into relationships, go into fucking hang out with them because mm-hmm. you think this is something cool like to do. Cool and shit. Yeah. This it's ain't not, cool, bro. man. Fucking people are losing lives out here. This ain't funny. This yeah. is not a joke. Making mockery of other people, like oh, laughing at other people. Yeah. Stuff like that shit. It's just not funny. It's yeah. not. This is, shit. this is life or death. You're not getting this shit again. Yeah. This yeah. is the only time and time and place. So you're living this. And everybody should have the ability to live it to the full potential yeah. Yeah. without having, you know, fear for their life. Exactly. Yeah. People do this shit for an Instagram caption at this point, man. I swear. It's, it, it's, is. And it's, it and is. And it's so fucked. It's yeah. so fucked. Like, come on, man. Like, at the end of the day, you're going to thank all, everyone that tells you this to stay out of it when you're 25, 30. And you're going to be like, yo, I'm actually just relaxed, doing my own thing. And you know I have a good relationship with my parents and I'm still here. No, even, yeah. mo- no, even taking her beer, man. Yeah. Like, you hang out with us. Yeah. yeah. Why do you? Because right? y'all go influence, bro. That's what it is. You exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to because the people are like, yo, man, nah, this shit boring, this, that. But the thing is, like, yeah. stuff like this helps you grow as a person. Mm, exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm. And the thing is, boring and consistency, right? Being boring but consistent is what leads to success. Because yes. ultimately, like, I have people that, sh- like, literally will call, like, you saw it in the car. Like, I calls all the fucking <laughs> messages. People are like, bro, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? And I'm like, yo, goli mar to meh. But you still do it. But though. I still do it, though. Yeah. Because, like, ultimately, like, my, I like, uh, you know, you saw the quote by Shay, right? My whole life's consistent. <laughs> that, shit, uh, that shit stuck yeah, yeah. out. Tough, tough, tough. Tough. I was like, yo, that's me. <laughs> I was like, yo, I need that shit on my, like, on my wallpaper when I wake up. Like, yo, my whole life consistent. I'm breathing. Right in front of you. Yeah, I'm breathing consistency. <laughs> yeah, no, man. But transitioning away from this, like, heavier topic, though, I think we did a good job covering it, though. Shout we out, did. you know, all three of y'all for, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. tackling that. Because it's not easy. Most people yeah. don't want to talk about shit like that. Oh, they don't. And like, I'm always open to, for a conversation anytime, even yeah. on the pod, off the pod. Don't be like, right? There's a minute room to <laughs> no, that's, and, and that, that's the thing though too yeah. like uh, we, we, we me and him were talking about it yeah because like obviously uh like hour before midnight that's you know your guys podcast like yeah. your guys different stream main line like our main line of podcasting is different yeah yeah right? so it's, it's like that. yeah yes. it's like and take us through that like do you when you guys going through it like we'll talk about like our experience like, yeah, yeah i'd love to actually a, hear you guys' dynamic yeah 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 because yeah, like yeah, yeah. take us through that like did you get a lot of encouragement did you get a lot of clowning but like no the, who, like, who are these dudes or like yeah. how did how did that come about man like Bro, speak more about your guys podcast <laughs> i right? got a lot of stories for y'all <laughs> right, but i'll keep it short for the sake of time right so obviously when we started the podcast this will happen i me and manor have combined had few thousand followers right yeah. just on instagram on our personals before man mm. rob just does his thing i don't know man Rob's, you see man, rob. he's, man a character. He's, he's, he's a character yeah, he's a character he's a character yeah. in half. Love him goof, you're goofing around goofy yeah. goofy guy super funny i don't know if you look up the other day that's man rob in a, in, in, in a nutshell right <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, yeah yeah but um so i was expecting when we first started the instagram locally we'd get a lot of support right mm. I, I, but i think that's where i was naive because we got like 50 followers the first day, right? Yeah. Which is still good. good. Like, I don't yeah. want to say that's bad or sound like ungrateful. I'm very grateful for my friends and family that decided to follow us first day. Mm-hmm. But yeah. a part of me was kind of like, damn. Local people be hating. Local people be hating, right? Because yeah. I'm like, that first clip that we posted from the podcast had like almost 600 shares. Yeah. So I knew people sending in group chats and shit. Nobody and fucking whatever, right? And at that point, I was like, all right, you know what? Time to lock in, right? 
I was like that, you know, I already know that this, this ain't gonna be no like, oh, good job, pat on the back, do your yeah. thing. It's not gonna be like that. I had yeah. people like that and shout out all my friends that did that. Yeah. But initially it was kind of hard. Staying consistent, figuring out the editing, everything, bro. Like from all that, all that shit was like a pain in the ass to get go. We had the shittiest fucking mixer too. We had yeah. some Amazon $60 <laughs> mixer show static every five minutes. I had to like re that shit in, right? Yeah. Fucking, we had that BK pod that like never came out because the audio was just fucked. And I was like, did one with yeah, we did a part with him and the fucking audio fucked it. Like, uh, yeah, so I was like, man. BK would have been dope. Yeah, I know. We're going to link with him again in like a couple months in, in Toronto, Toronto, so it'll be yeah, good. Yeah. But yeah. no, dude, it was just like, it was rough to, to start a little bit, right? Then we had a, then we went through a lot of editors and stuff and then I started getting serious with my own business a little bit on the side afterwards, but and then I just start with just hours from midnight, right? So that's like the kind of the origin story about that. But yeah. what I always got from the start, and I get it to this day, is a lot of people will still tell me like, like, oh, you don't, why are you doing a podcast, yeah. right? Po- podcast bros. Like, we like you know, like, uh, yo, bro, let's start a podcast in quotation marks on like all it's my like popular, it's a style, yeah, yeah, like, you a know, it's, just, it's, it's a fashion thing, right? It's like, yeah. uh, but ultimately, I, I look at it as like, you know what, y'all leaving comments, y'all boosting my algorithm, yeah. go for it, <laughs> right? Like, I really don't care. But the thing is, a matter of me, we we're actually talking about this in the car yesterday, too. It's a one to ten type of ratio. We saw this on a post, it was for every ten things that you see are positive, that one thing is what's going to stick out that's negative, it is because it, we're wired, humans are wired to see negativity more, yeah. right? And that's why, even on TikTok and any uh, social media algorithm whenever you talk about anything slightly controversial Personal, slightly yeah, hateful it, it blows up like the mm. vodka thing let's be honest it's not that controversial it's not that hateful <laughs> and it's not causing it's anyone just like simple to, advice but, but simple, simple advice but people got triggered yeah like triggered to a point where i'm like and i'm like i get called a fake someone said someone said i have a haircut underneath my pug Yo. Bro, I, I was like, bro, man. Amrita, I just say I ain't got none. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, man. Amrita is saying, yeah, yeah, right. Amrita check yeah, right. Like, dadi duri rakia, right. Like, obviously, right? like, I'm like, bro, why, why do you think I have nothing yeah, to do here? Right? And yeah, I'm just like, I know it's just for jokes and shit, so it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was a lot of struggle initially. And then when we branched down, we started doing our thing and people actually started recognizing it. Yeah. When we hit 10K was when everything changed. Because mm. once I hit 10K, the amount of people that I saw from started our Started reaching out? No, not even reaching out. <laughs> local people that I knew that were my friends. Yeah. Like, our thought were my friends, high school, whatever. Like, oh, they back, started hating? No, no, they started following. Oh, that's when they started following. Let us jump on the bag. Yeah, 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 then yeah, they started yeah, following. And I was looking at this shit. Like, I was remember like, me? Yeah, I can leave yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. bro, what the? F-? Like, I was like, I was like, all right, whatever. Anytime I run into any single person from high school, anything, I always keep it very civil, very nice. I don't do yeah. the whole, like, look at me type you, back. Bro, yeah, yeah, I was like, what's up, bro? Always drop people up, smile, greet them with, like, you know, good energy. Because I'm not trying to be that dickhead being, like, walking around, like, podcast yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. it's never like that i say it on like podcast clips and on the podcast you can say here too i'm not a celebrity bro i'm a normal ass guy yeah, Man, yeah. bro i'm normal as fuck i literally just yeah. fucking work yeah go to the gym yeah like shit for my trainer go to the gordara yeah. and then rock a podcast <laughs> bro, that's it yeah, that's really <laughs> no that's good that's, that's like, it right yeah. like and as you said i think he spoke to like mokul yeah. <laughs> elaborate more into this because he he's more um i'm not as impacted by it, but it does hurt but like most like because like at the end of the day it is something that you put out that's good in the world right yeah. and as you said people only want to see that's more what virality hateful stuff and yeah all like even Negative. i was telling you but there was this podcast that came out like these it was these three girls in in uk man i just uh it just popped up on our uh the search page yeah they were just talking about the rules my random is shit and it had like half they were talking you know, i know you, you know, i know what you're talking about bro these Yo. girls had talked about how uh um, i know who you're talking about bro <laughs> This I is what this, this is what they said about the subject. She said, you know, even after marriage, like, you know what would be good? It's like staying in separate uh, bedroom, sleeping bedroom. bedrooms. None of y'all motherfuckers I are married. The fuck How the fuck get all this shit? How is it? They like, and then one girl's like, she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, I think that would work. How the fuck? Would, what? Bro, and all the for comments bro, were just roasting them, right? But the yeah. thing is, I know they were unserious. Yeah. There's no way <laughs> they believe that. They believe that shit. Because bro, I could go on this podcast right now and be like, you know what, boys? Like toothbrush now, you shouldn't brush. Don't brush. You know what you yeah. should do? Just water. And then people are gonna take that <laughs> clip and be like, and the, you guys. that's it. Unbelievable <laughs> face lock it, finger brush, bro. It's called a day, man. Right, like, it, but the thing is, that's the thing. People love shit that makes them pissed but, off. But they get that's close to like is, millions yeah. of views. Yeah. They do, and the, the thing is, <laughs> the funny thing is too. It's like even for my uh, business that I run, I do like the marketing side of things outside of the podcast. Yeah. Anytime I talk to a client, I'm like, yo, if you just 
slightly tweak this or maybe you spell a caption wrong yeah instantly someone's gonna be grammar police in the comments being like oh you spelled it wrong <laughs> and it's like oh they did algorithm boost or not who cares yeah. Yeah. right and people really fall for that shit and i'm like damn like but it's like yeah it's and then yeah. dude, that's what it is man i think moko talked about like our experience yeah moko, you he, actually, he, he, you know, he has different enough about me bro i feel like this is mid i thought yeah, moko. you land like yeah no i'm telling you man this is no, entertaining no, to no, me no 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 moko, <laughs> what y'all do how'd y'all start the podcast give me something give me your wildest story like what's the wildest like hate experience you've about ever had about the pod about like through the pod what's the wildest hateful like experience you've oh, had oh bro we just had the one <laughs> that's not so the, far you only had one let's, yeah let's hear it, so it was like uh what was it we were so talking we're talking about, about immigration, immigration yeah, yeah. and yeah. how it's kind of getting um, out of hand and not out of hand we're not understanding the immigration crisis from a student perspective oh okay and okay, okay. and then we started like talking we got into a little bit india politics nice india police was all in the comments on youtube really yeah. bro i'm not even kidding there's one guy's like Look, he's like, he's like two idiots talking about politics of the country they don't live in, this, that. One guy, tried to, I don't know, he tried to spell out in English. Motherfucker said the most weirdest shit. Yeah. And he just went viral on the show, not reels, bro. He just yeah, went viral. I, I told him, I was like, I don't give a fuck. What, <laughs> this is our podcast. We're going to make yeah. sure it's uncensored. Mm. I was like, I don't want to bleep anything out. That's fair. We, we make mistakes, all good. We say something stupid, all good. Yeah, right? yeah. All we, we, that's we, how it should be. I was like, you with that guest, right? I was like, yo, if it's something controversial, we're going to talk about that shit. And I, and the I think there was one part where it was like I was like fuck the Indian government. I was trying to play, right? Chocolate. You're banned. <laughs> well, you were to India, they're grabbing <laughs> they grab you grab right away. You're, oh, you're getting scanned, Dasit. They have your name, everything, bro. No, you don't go to your India. Your family. You're, you're yeah. fully blacklisted. Do not go. But then that's where like what Amber said. He's like, yo, that's all we got. These comments. I was like, yeah. I was like, damn, we're getting these hate comments, but we also got 50 <laughs> subscribers. So. Oh my god. That's, that's where you got the most subscribers out of that reel too. Yeah, it's hilarious. Real, that's dope, it's man. Freaking hilarious, yeah. but dude, like it's so funny to see like people. They get so invested. It's so invested. And the thing is, even fun. the even the Drake Kendrick Lamar beef, right? Yeah. yeah people yeah. are so invested into it. Like oh, like yeah. like so there's invested. an OVO story. And I don't know if you guys saw in London that got vandalized. Vandalized. Right? Yeah. And oh, they wrote shit. they wrote on the thing on the glass like in spray paint, not like us. Yeah. Like bro, why are y'all so people take it so serious? So man. serious, bro. But to be honest, these like Kendrick and Kendrick, I'm pretty sure it's just it's all BS. Like they're just doing if, it. No. Watch, no, watch no, these guys. No, no, no. Watch, no, no, no. watch. No, even if it's BS, watch these guys release an album mm. and fucking no, no, make no, no, so no, much no. money off it. Kendrick's not like that. Though. Kendrick's not like that. Yeah, and, I, and I'll Kendrick. tell you why it's, it's it's cooked. If that's true, like <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you word for word, play by play, why it's cooked. <laughs> If you get called like a pedo, right? Yeah, yeah but it's cooked. Pedo I don't care. is wild. I mean, I that's why, wild. I don't know what they said between, but that's yeah. They said he, he Kendrick called Drake a pedo. Yeah, that oh, he, he likes to and, be around underage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then Metro got straight exposed too. I don't know if you saw the tweets. Metro yeah. straight like they're like calling him Metro Dis Grooman. Yeah, they're calling him Metro Grooman, bro, on Twitter, and it's that's crazy. Fucked, I'm like, dude, what that's the fuck, fuck is going on? There's something going on with Rip Ross. Metro don't trust you. Metro Grooman to Metro Grooman. Metro don't trust you. You gonna groom you? That's what it is. It's fucked. It's actually so bad. That's the wildest shit. Yo, Twitter is actually so crazy. Brown Twitter? Y'all seen Brown Twitter? No. Holy we actually fuck. don't have presence at go all on Twitter. Bro, go on Twitter. Y'all yeah. will have... It's way better than TikTok, bro. We need to get... It's way better TikTok. It's I get the most amount of, like, laughs out of Twitter. Uh, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, I don't like the things... I don't like using social media besides how much I already got to use it because my work, I, I'm on social media consistently. Yeah, but yeah. whenever I'm on Twitter, bro, it's like my guilty pleasure, man. <laughs> I got Brown Twitter. I'm like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's That's like, so it's like the ZTV for me, bro. Like, I'm not allowed to be ripping. I'm just like... Yeah, the <laughs> Bro, people are just fighting consistently mm. over the stupidest shit. Crazy. Like, meri mummy, tere mummy na charge aada padi hai banana. Then they get like, personally like this where you live. Unki paya charge. Then like this. Actually, nahi paya. Then people like geotagging locations like this where you live, little bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? I'm like, that's crazy. I'm sitting. I'm like, yo, that's just. Yeah, no. But when it comes to our podcast, like comparative to other ones, like like Mo can speak more because like he gets more amped about this. Yeah, yeah. Like actually, tell me, why did you guys even like? want to start more of like a serious podcast because uh you know right now the trend is obviously unserious funny, unhinged yeah, yeah. like whatever but like because yeah. but i'm very happy you guys <laughs> did start a more serious one because i feel like people all would look at like you guys and be like okay yo big bro vibe you know good advice yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and you guys are talking some real shit like even today we even though we you know goof around here and there i think yeah. for the most part like it's someone can listen to this and get a lot of value out of it yeah. they so can, like where, where so where's you where are you guys with that well our thing of? was like i mean Amber and i talked about it like we didn't really i mean <coughs> i mean i've known a long time just because like i'm good friends with his sister his sister nice right so then we i mean we played ball like when we were younger Swarm. and stuff but after that <laughs> after that we didn't really stay connected we didn't it was know. still i think was the pre that recommended 
Right? No, 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 like we still knew each other. And then okay. I knew you started training and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get in shape. And then yeah. I'm like, then we started training a little, then we started hanging out more, yeah, yeah, playing yeah. ball here and there. Yeah. Solid. And then, uh, yeah. But then it was just, you know, <laughs> then we just had a chat and yeah. then we were just like, fuck it. I was like, let's start a podcast, man. Yeah, I could think was yeah. the reason, the main idea behind our podcast was for us that hits home is like, yeah. We don't, the one thing we always talk about is someone that we can look up to and understanding. We're like, you know what? We want to have a platform that yeah. we can bring, bring people yeah. that can articulate every sentiment. When it comes from sports, mm -hmm. fitness, business, yeah. that we can bring people yeah. and people can take knowledge from it yeah. and em try to emulate it. And they're not emulate it, but like at least gain knowledge from it to, hey, I can start my own now because due to the fact that, hey, I got this knowledge from her, hey, I can yeah. reach out to the person now. <laughs> Until course. we don't bring these people forward, we don't know about them. Because in our yeah. culture, how many times do people are promoted? Not as much. Not as much, yeah. We don't know about it. What's, like, even if, like, you know, I joke around it, you know, my girl is like, I'm like, yo, the amount of girls that just go on Instagram and post, like, some, like, you know, like, an explicit yeah, way, yeah, 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 of course, and they yeah. just got mad following. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those people get mad fine. If someone who's actually given educational purpose in our community yeah. will have maybe a couple thousands. Yeah, yeah and that's yeah, it. Yeah. So our idea, whole behind it was, I mean, you know what? We want to, we want to become more informative for our youth too. Yeah, yeah. And for ourselves, it's a learning process. Would you yeah. guys, would you guys say this is like, like kind of like an outlet for you guys in a way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Sports, like, sports it'd be, yeah. from outlet. The, I mean, my main purpose for me was like, dude, I mean, like what Emma said, like we didn't have a mentor when growing up. Mm. We didn't like even till now, man. I'm, well, I'm just going to call it out, but it's just like fucking, I deal, I see these 30, 40 year olds yeah. who act like the same as their youth. Really? I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You have children. It's Edmonton's bad, bro. Really? Edmonton is bad. I mean, not bro, Edmonton. No, bad. it's bad. He's, he's bad. Yeah, like, really? it's, it's ridiculous how stupid it is. And I'm like, yo, I'm t you're, you're 10 years older than me. With kids. And a wife. <laughs> bro, it's ridiculous. That out here is straight wild. I'm not going to call. You know hey, who I'm talking we know about. We, every, no, we're not gonna no, call. no, no, no. We're going to call. Screw us. Everybody knows us watching. They know exactly who these men are out there. Just out here just fucking going crazy, bro. But, dude, it's, it's, it's sad. It's, God damn. Bro, yeah. I'm telling you, like, we, we don't, like, if they, even if they come out, be like, oh, whatever. No, bro. They, they out here fucking doing. We have, we have screen recording of these grown ass yeah. men in. Yeah. Yeah. In girls' DMs well, we'll, with kids. Oh, wow. We'll tell you. We'll tell you the whole. Story yeah, tell me off the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like but it's little ridiculous, girls man. DMs. It's just like my thing is like okay. Call creep catchers, not the open fuck. relationship. Yeah, but we're gonna start Edmonton creep catchers, bro. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> now we go crazy. Uh, yo, like, talk about yo. How could you get in? Everybody would tune in every yeah. day, every week. Hey, guys, That's a good idea. I, I, yo, I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a savant when it comes to this business shit, bro. I'm telling you. Y'all don't got all play with me. No, it's ridiculous because like my like people will say like I'm serious. Yeah. I'm not fun enough. I didn't party. I didn't drink and shit like that because I was majority of my life was. It was sports. Yeah, yeah. I was very involved in sports. It's good, man. I was way too serious. I was too involved in my shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just like, bro, I'm like, people like fucking party and do all this shit in their 20s. Yeah. I did the opposite. Mm. So why am I being looked frowned upon? <coughs> yeah, I'll tell you why. It's because you're doing something that they know they should be doing, but they're, but not. they're not doing. They're not doing mm. it. Because they're, it's like, um, it's, spite. It's, 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 yeah, man. It's, it's envy. It's, it's like envy. It's insecurity. Yeah. 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 The yeah. reason I stop telling people what I do consistently now, mm. like, because before I'm, a, I'm open book. You know me. I'm, a, I'm yeah. like very, like, I'm very happy go lucky. Like, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm just like super, like, I talk to anybody. Yeah. Right? I walk in, I'll get that guy's, how you doing? Like, that yeah, all yeah, up. Yeah. I no, 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 like, fake energy. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm blunt. Yeah. From the moment you meet me to the moment, like, yeah. whatever I leave, right? As I should be, right? Like, I don't like doing none of this BS shit where I'm like, yeah. nice to your face, and then I fucking kick <laughs> different it. Different person behind you. Yeah. Nah, bro. I call you same person, off camera, same person. That's what, that's how, just how I am, right? I was raised. Yeah. So I'm going to say, like, <laughs> yo, people, this is one thing I'm going to say to y'all. I don't know if y'all do this. Like, do you guys tell people, like, oh, I'm up to this, 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 or do you guys keep it more to yourself now? Keep it to yourself. Keep it yourself. Now that, I keep that, it to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you got to, man. Nazar yeah. Nagadi yeah. Fuck even the Nazar, bro. It's not even about that. It's the, when some other people start grouping up on you, on some shit, negative like, oh, bro, energy. you don't need to work today. The negative Come. energy. It's just negativity, man. Yeah, man. And that's what, that's what the, that's where it gets to you, bro. I'm telling you. It drives you down. Dude, yeah. it's crazy because, like, it's interesting because I was actually a groomsman for my buddy. Mm. My buddy, and he was like, you, they were the same thing, like, you let's start a podcast and shit. Yeah. Right? I was like, okay, what are we going to talk about? They're like, oh, you're just going to talk about bullshit. And I was like, okay, I'm off for that. Right? Like, yeah, that, yeah. that's temporary sh bullshit. Yeah. And then Amber and I, luckily enough, Amber and I, we connected and stuff again. Yeah. Right? But you know what's funny is, like, a lot of the issues that I've dealt with those friends, mm -hmm. uh, we kind of discussed it too. And they actually called me out. They're like, why are you talking shit about me? Right? Yeah. And I was like, have you ever thought of 
taking the step of having self-awareness and understanding how the type of bullshit that you talk, right? Mm. I, that's not my responsibility to, uh, to tell you. You should have the self-awareness to talk about this shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because I was like, I was like, look, it's good to have fun. I'm not saying that's, you know, you should be serious. There's all the a time, line, right? But or there's wrong. a line. Because I was like, yo, like we are, we're hanging out for four hours, four or five hours. Yeah. And a lot of people say like, this is kind of going off topic a bit, but like, it's yeah. like, oh, you should have different type of friends. No, like no. that's bullshit. That, that's a waste of time. You mm. should have a group of friends where you can have fun. Yeah. You can do business. You have the similar mindset. Yeah, yeah. You can talk about issues and all that stuff. Yeah. These are the type of friends where like they just want to have fun for four or five hours. And then just leave. And then I was like, bro, like within those four or five hours. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, sure. that ass. That but ass. it's like four or five hours. Like, you, like you're playing Bobby, whatever it is, right? For four or five hours? Nah, no, that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, bro. I'm the market. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> that's Yo, fuck. straight up, man. Five hours, Bobby's actually ridiculous. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So my thing it was bro, like, I'll okay, go follow, bro. <laughs> yeah. My thing was like, okay, run this podcast. We're gonna yeah. talk about serious stuff. Yeah. I know well enough we're not gonna get that many views, followers, and stuff like that. Yeah. Which, mm. which is all good. But I was like, eventually with time. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, eventually with time. You yeah. Know, everything will come along. Right? I, w- I want to go on that. Then I want to, and this is. I want to I want to say something to you and you can take it any way which, which way you want, right? Yeah. I think if you go into the mindset of any sort of business, whether it's podcast, content creation, basketball, anything, and you yeah. say, I don't like, I know I'm not going to get this or I'm not going to get that. I don't think I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell you what to do or what mm-hmm. to think. But I, I personally would say that I would never say that about the podcast because mm-hmm. bro, you guys have value. Value always gets discovered and it's always yeah. appreciated later. Yeah. Like, like no matter what, mm-hmm. uh, if your guys' podcast was garbage, I'd, I would tell you. Yeah, I'd yeah. be like, yo, I'm gonna have to do this, this, this. Maybe it's same with you. I'd be like, oh, don't call it. Mini break. Bro, bro's locked out, man. He's yeah. locked out. Yo, I have a sister's wedding, so much shit going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was saying, like, in another podcast. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. But I was saying, like, I think um, you guys have so much potential. Like, I know you guys. Actually, not even, I think, scratch that. I know you guys have so much potential. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? So I think, obviously, maybe have that sort of conversation with you. Like, yo, we're gonna be a serious podcast, but we're gonna make it work. Yeah. yeah. No matter what. But we're, we're making, we're having a blend now. It's like, yeah. it's serious, but we also have fun. We yeah. talk about, like, that's we're making more relationships and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's the best. Talk, no, 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 no. Yeah. I think yeah. for us, it's just constant work. We know it's not gonna come overnight. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna come over a couple months. It's not gonna come over a year or yeah. nothing. Yeah. This is uh, a long time, it, it, It's just a very long process. I think yeah. it's just straight true to ourselves yeah. and not getting swayed by the fact that oh we need to do this to catch more followers now yeah. don't the moment you do that yeah. it's like you sell your soul to the devil yeah Bro. don't don't chase numbers or followers chase quality and bettering yourself so that's exactly. what you chase all the time people yeah. will see yeah. it yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. see it no, will, will. so many people as i said man like so many people yeah. reach out like it, Dude, uh, yeah we had we had kids reach out man that's, I, that's, I had that's, i had one sick. kid that was like yo i was about to commit suicide mm. until i was started watching you guys stuff i was like yeah. yo was yeah like, it's deep that's right it's fucking deep it's deep i had someone that lost their dad yeah, and they reached out to us like, and they were like, "Yo, you guys have been keeping me going and stuff." Yeah, and it's like outlet too. It's know? outlet, right? Yeah. And the thing is, I've almost the reason I say about the whole thing of setting an example, being that role model, and like put take on the reason I don't do anything like that is because I don't want to be that guy that's like on camera yeah, being yeah. like like this type of person, and then you catch me outside doing God knows what. Because yeah. yeah, I just yeah, yeah. I'm just not gonna do that because it's ultimately like why would I? Yeah. And that's where I'm like where I appreciate you guys. Because Amrit's always kept it 100 with me since day one. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, since I met this guy, always showed mad support. <laughs> yeah. I'm not broke. Right? <laughs> got to, bro. Go got on. to, right? But yeah. I think vice versa, too. Like, I've always said it to you. If I ever feel like, oh, maybe try this, try that. And he's same with you. Like, maybe try this, try that. We're always open dialogue. There's yeah. never hate. Like, even, yeah. like, it's funny. Like, we're, we're two podcasts. There's yeah. never, like, competition. Oh, you know, no, like, no, no, like no, obviously, no. like, you know, going to be friendly banter. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, like, we're here to grow as a community. Yeah. There's enough money. There's enough. There's not bread, bro. There's everything to go around. Yeah. The moment we try to get yeah. here, like now, nah, we're like, what the fuck? They, they made a podcast. So you're saying we should start a Drake and Kendrick beat? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Yo, nah, smoke nah, you nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Don't let me do that. Don't let me make a couple bars down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna be in the booth, man. I'm gonna be in the podcast studio. Yeah, like, I'm just gonna pull a chicken to the bus. Oh, my God. I'm gonna get a bus. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You gotta pick him up once in a while. If y'all got a chicken to the bus on the show, I'll actually fly out for the episode. I'll be right there in the corner just being like, I don't know what to say. I, I think even, I'll be shell shocked at how he speaks. I'll yeah, just
The only yeah, reason we've gone we to where we've gone now is literally just because of like consistency and just constant self belief. Because we've been yeah, told yeah. so many times, like, yo, just can it, don't do it. But the Wasting great thing about our podcast too is it branches out into our other businesses without even trying. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's a it's a social proof almost in myself because the thing is, right? If I show a cl- I, so I uh, I'll say, I have never even talked about this on my own pod, so yo, exclusive. <laughs> let's, you guys. let's talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. I opened a, I have my own marketing agency, it's like mm. content creation agency that I run for small businesses. So mm. my biggest um like a uh, case study is myself Self, yeah. right? because if I like a lot of people will be like oh I can do this for you I can do this for you but they can never show it yeah. like yeah, for, yeah. I guess, how can you how yeah, can yeah. you but I can just be like yeah. I literally do this for myself every single day for the last <laughs> 600 plus I'm a living proof yeah, yeah. living proof right yeah. and I, st- I didn't start the podcast with that in mind it just became that but I never the thing with the podcast we never started for monetary at all we do the podcast at a loss every month Mm. So for the last year and a bit, no. or whatever, we feel you know. We feel you. It's been a it's been a bad loss because the, the thing about it, every single clip, I'll be honest. Like I'll tell you guys off pod, but it cost me a certain amount of money, a certain amount of like like monetary per clip. Is yeah. I'm losing yeah. every single time I post every day. Yeah, I'm crazy. losing a certain amount of money. That's crazy. All right, and then the, and the thing is, I've never once told someone like, oh, like this appreciate us more. Like no, I'm saying I don't care because then like twenty. I don't know if you guys know this too. Twenty. Uh, one, only one percent of podcasters make it to episode twenty. Crazy. That, there's over like in your in your in our lifetime there will be over like hundreds of millions of podcasts. Oh, so many. Yeah, yeah. right? So many. Right? And and only one percent of them get to episode twenty because people just quit. Yeah. I've had three. I've known two podcasts in the local lower mainland that started, and they were doing good, man. Like they were funny guys and stuff, mm. and they just shut down after episode like eight. But seven. that's the thing, though. It's like they they they're seeking. They're running from the purpose it's of what yeah. they're doing, yeah. rather yeah. than seeking like, oh, I need to get this amount of yeah. X it's amount like, of money, blah blah blah. It's short term success for long term. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Temporary satisfaction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a, that's the root of all evil. Temporary satisfaction, I think. Right? It is. It is because if you temporary, that's what, especially going back to the whole kid, like kids going in gangs. It's yeah. all temporary money, all temporary, temporary yeah. fast money, until you fast realize. riches. Until <laughs> You're you 25, 26, 28. Fuck, I ain't no fuck all of my life. Yeah, I didn't the dudes off. that you were thinking they were your friends, quote unquote, yeah. didn't even give a fuck. You never even heard back from them, never hit yeah. you up. Now you're going through like mental depression, this, that. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of goes into this whole narrative of like, I'm depressed. Facts. No, motherfucker, you just lazy and you just put yourself lazy. around wrong yeah. people. Yeah, 100%. And I think people, I think even like Harbier, I think you're a bright kid, obviously, like yeah. sitting on this podcast. Like you're super like, you listen really well. You speak Mellow. pretty, you speak yeah. proper, right? I think you're a good kid, right? Yeah. How many kids in grade 12 can speak like her beer? Like, let's just, I'm, I'm not trying to gas you too much either. No. You know, man, that, <laughs> bro, No, it's true. Right? But, I'm, but I'm being honest with you though. Like, bro, like, no, it's true. how it's true. many kids in grade 12 will speak like her beer, be able to sit in a conversation like this and be like, oh, I'm not bored. Yeah. Cause the like most people in Great Talk, we put this podcast on, they won't even be able to make it past the like, <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the whole char punch can't take situation that fucking muck was in. It's like, yo, <laughs> now nah, that story's fuck. That story's, story's fuck. fuck. I don't know where y'all were at, but that's crazy. <laughs> Come with me, we'll go actually have we'll have some fun, we'll go out. We'll don't worry, we'll start no papi at the same time. We'll open papi afterwards <laughs> for like twenty minutes. We can't eat cones. Bro, having a dadi and trying to eat is like No, crazy, a cone? Bro. Impossible. Yeah, impossible. Yo, you trying to eat a cone? Yeah, like, not, I'm, not to sound weird and shit, when, when you try to, you know, that, 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 that <laughs> lick, <laughs> when you go, bro, it goes all over your dad, bro. It does, bro. <laughs> all over. It, it does. You practicing. are here, like, like you, got, you got to save some for later in there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got to take it out later. Like, I was just practicing at this point. I had a badam oh. stuck in my daddy a whole day. I That's did this, cool. and when... That's crazy. That ass, bro. So yeah. like, I, I did this, it fucking flew out, G. After but your daddy, like, Yo, <laughs> daddy's actually, this guy's daddy's so nice, though. He's like so like lush. <laughs> My shit's like straight, like straight. But hey, shout getting- out Costco. On that note, man, I think, you know, wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, the main thing you want to talk about, <laughs> yeah. we did, right? It's, it's we a had good two conversations. hours to conversation. Yeah, I know. It was a great conversation. It yeah. was, man. Yo, we'll be back down with Manrov. I got y'all next time. Hey, no, yeah, next time we come Y'all will have crazy. a comedy special. <laughs> Late comedy night comedy special. Man, I'm not joking, bro. Man, I'm Yo, bring, bring in the relationship from us, man. We'll <laughs> I'll, bro, I'll do it right now. <laughs> yeah, no, no. no, no. no, no, it's no I appreciate you coming yeah, uh, down, bro. Y'all I know, it, for real. I know I had, yeah, I had a little time constraint on my side because I like, yeah. do to everything, but yeah. thank you for coming by, man. And we're yeah. definitely going to, you know, Wish we'll you all the we'll best. We'll chop it up, man. We'll chop it yeah. up. Get you on down. the pod next week when you're an amateur <laughs> buddy. <laughs> when you're an Abby buddy. Walk to me, Abby. Abby, Abby, get there. I was heard, bro. It's, it's sorry, from my sister's reception. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we're going to run it there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, we, we can't be telling you about my sister's reception. On that note, yeah. Yo, 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 yo